good either. What do you mean? He's getting millions of followers. We get maybe 12. You know how many views I had on Horizon Forbidden One last little night? little program that removes the bots from his sub count, and you can watch that thing die. Well, it. guess what? So will his competition, that Indian channel, whatever. Oh, that's been, called. dude, that's been solved and fixed since 2017. Oh, Him versus T Series? Wait, will you put yeah, these up no, on Mackie's? I don't watch it because I don't like the series. Well. Put those what? It's on Mackie's. Yeah, the, whole T-series thing, the whole T-Series thing with PewDiePie had ended long ago, and then um, he started a war with Coco Melon. Oh, with, yeah. And then that ended. Yeah, some of those little turds I was teaching yesterday brought up Coco Melon. Hey, what's the block set for Melon? Yeah. It, no. It's, it's yeah, a cancer of a show. Up, it's it's basically... Because it's you had it, you didn't it, unroll it until I think you handed me the end. Kids in general they should be exposed to the internet until they very ripe age. What's the problem with Coco Melon? Who wants some bacon jerky? My God. You know where I'm at. Me, me, me over here just me, me over here just enabling Noah's future heart condition, but it's all right because it's it's bacon jerky. You do you. Mm. This is a judge-free zone, mm. which just means that we judge you harder. Yeah. Yeah, judge me. Here's one thing that I will happily go into a gigantic, extended, hour-long rant into, but I am going to do that for my own YouTube channel another time. There's another one with Coco Melon! Not Coco Melon. So I'm back on Pop Vinyl. What's it about? Come on. Give us a, give us a key. Just... Just show a little bit of the cleavage here. Oh, there I am. FNAF. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. That, that franchise should have been shot after the first game. I mean, the first game was interesting enough, but after that... Mm. Oh, come on. It's a FNAF fan, or it used to be a FNAF fan, until Security Breach pretty much took me out back behind the shed and fucked me. Wait, 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 wait. Why is that the old stand no, taking you back behind the shed? Why don't they just take you into the basement? Why don't they just take you into the basement anymore? It's much quieter. You because, can have a couch. Because people like people like that outdoor kink, you know what I'm saying? No, not really. No, do you know what's funny? Yeah, I, I saw oh, a shirt earlier and it's a dude's shirt. Oh, and I was like, I was like, I really like that shirt. And Charlie's like, wow, it's like so boring and it's a guy shirt. And I was like, because I'm like honing into my inner twink. And Charlie looks at me and he's like, so you're gay now? Yeah, twinks are gay. Not all twinks are gay. Well, no, if you're but a twink, that gay. means you're a skinny gay boy. I no. that was... Twink means you're just skinny and smooth and like girlish, but you don't have to find me that. one straight porn video that has twink in the title, and I will eat Not the rest of this it. veggie tray. Not unless it's with a there are... they will call some people coffee and they'll tweet. Y'all do know y'all are all talking about this tweet. on stream, right? Tweet. Yes, we know. Guys. So, anyway, are guys. they're small, skinny, that means young stop. Guys. Okay. okay, so have you ever done DMT before? <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Joe Rogan. Welcome to Joe Rogan's podcast. I'm here with Elon Musk. No, Trudeau is a fucking coward. Let's go off of that right now. Trudeau's a fucking coward, sending in their private police force to literally just stomp poor innocent people into the ground. I think I just saw a grandma get ran over by a stallion. Did you see that, Joe? I, I, I heard the honk. Can we actually get started? The honking. The honking. The honking. No, we cannot get started. Not until we How publicly about, slap... Big snowy wall. All right, so... Did y'all see that? They put the big snowy ass walls around their fucking trucks. <laughs> so, we are in the Tower of Wishes still. Oh, you're fucking baked now? We're stabbing Charlie. Oh, um, Thing. On oh, the next floor, and right we are right on right. floor. You want to go fuck yourself? Oh uh, no, it's only a hundred. Can you please stop? What about one hundred and one? Forty-five. Yeah, no, just We're we're around four fifty. Oh, well, on this up. floor is a. Gosh darn it! Stop. Yeah, was just part of it. Just did there, and I was like, okay, this will do. <laughs> No, please don't eat all my jerky. I'd like it a little bit. Well, then get it out of my face. Here. A little bit. Get some meat out of his face. 
I don't even know what I said. That, that did sound like a motor mine. That was not a phone. It's it like sounded like one. Oh, also, we're sponsored by G Fuel. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored by the same people who. We're sponsored by Adam and Eve. Alex, what you tell them about your butt plug? <laughs> Okay, let's get started because it looks like Charlie needs to take a step. So that people can see him. Because you can't even tell if there's a dude. Remember? Well, it kind of doesn't help that this couch is bigger and pushed farther over. Well, why not? Don't imagine them. They can all stop the kick and not look at me. We can just hear a random. It'd be a lot easier if we could set Matthew in the chair, but it's occupied, apparently. Exactly. And I told him that. And he was like, nobody's allowed to sit in my chair. And I'm like, well, I'm sitting in your chair. He said, no, you're not allowed to sit in my chair. So a fucking unicorn is sitting in the chair. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, let's continue. Come on. So you're on the tower. You're still in the tower, oh, which... Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. missed last session. We can't ever see everybody. We've yeah, never been, we've able, been actually, able to see everybody. Actually, we have. No, we have yeah, never. Yeah, the last videos, yes. Even my cousin was able to get seen. Yeah. Barely. No, everybody was able to be seen. Yeah. You can't even barely see Matthew. You can see me. It's, it's just because Matthew's over here now. That's Matthew it. was over there directly next to Alex. It wouldn't be quite like that. But, anywho. Now, okay, actually, ain't in the video. That, that's about as far as we normally get, is that. Okay. Well, at least everybody's in the video. It's always someone right on the edge of the screen. Well, that's anyway. Better than everybody. So. Yeah, we're, we're in the Tower of Wishes around floor 50 or so. What do you mean jumping. around? You didn't keep track? Oh, it says 25 and I've been jumping. Hold on, hold on. You're not allowed to use that coin. Why? Because I have a much better coin. Does it say official Pokemon tournament coin? Well, guess what? This is an official fucking <laughs> Harvey Dent coin, motherfucker. That was called on camera. <laughs> that is not a bad coin. Whenever y'all flip, you could use this if you want, but I'm gonna use my um my tournament coin. Yeah. I like it. You got yeah, we got a Harvey Dent fucking coin. Like, right? This is actually a special coin to me, so it's from uh I don't even You'll know. never guess where I found that coin. Two thousand, I think. Here my story right. of his dead pit love. Dead pit love. Okay. Okay, Don. Um how many more like this video where he's about smash smash from <laughs> seventy two Pokemon and as a furry I was very much like, you're missing out. We need it to... You can have like up to the hundreds, my guy. He was like, if I like this one, then that might make me a furry. And then later on, he's like, I'm definitely fuck a furry. yes. Because like, it's like, I'm definitely like, a furry. Like, furry. And he's like, okay. He did that from Gardevoir. That was the one that I was like, where did he... What? Where did he go wrong? He did go for the funny. He did go for Pedro. That was the first one. No, yeah, my no, fucking thing he did is he went and did fucking Diglett. <laughs> and don't he's, 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 he's like, two in the deep, what do you think? Did he see it on his face? Him thinking of how he's going to fuck no, he he is is he I think he character. was going specifically for the smash. He was lot. going to Stop smash them. Are. Not, he was going to fuck them, not have them fuck him. That was like, he was going to fuck these people. How are you going to fuck your dick in Diggler? He fucked a bee. He did fuck a bee. He did fuck a bee troll. Did he fuck Vespaquin, though? Yes, yes, I think. Did he fuck Penguin as well? Yes, I think he did. Uh, he must be in the CBT. I don't know about Kingler. I know he did Shield. But he, he definitely he definitely very fucked up Well, he, okay, first off, right, so we are in everything. Everybody is here except for Cassie who can't see her character, so I'm just going to set her in a break. Everybody break. fuck yourself. Everybody and their grandma would stick their dick in King... Uh, not Kingler. Uh, <laughs> what is that clam one? Shoulder. I'll, okay. Not show. I'm gonna slide that over there for y'all. Um, yeah, can y'all? That way she can be heard. No, everybody was sick dick and low punny. Well, everybody would stick their dick in low punny. Well, I don't see any attraction to low punny. It's the big hips, man. It's the big child bearing hips. Because its head is literally a clip. Low, low bunny literally looks like a shoulder to each other. Of course, you're like, oh no. Can we stop talking Other's about Markiplier fucking, fucking Pokemon? In a person in a bunny outfit is because crying out loud. I'm too damn boyish. Alright, so. Y'all pull up to the next floor. So really? you're the cardio girl. So have you rolled for like, what creature we're about to encounter? Or no, what? Okay, <laughs> floor 50 is a special floor. Oh, fuck. I'm trying. Fuck you. No more Charlie encounters. Bring us a monster. Well, I, I'm going to, but uh, it's special because I'm trying to exp expedite us through the tower. Okay, you're mm -hmm. aggravating me, and now I'm going to set my fake wand down and pull out my cheese and crackers. 
All right, so the shadow figure comes into the room, forms into just a dark mist here, and he says, I request the dumbest person in y'all's group. What do you mean by dumb? The dumbest person. No, 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 no. I'm talking out of character here. What do you mean by dumb? Who the hell is the dumbest person sitting at this table? No. What I mean is, are you asking by actual intelligence or wisdom scores? What are you asking here? Who is just the stupidest in general? Who does? Daddy. Who makes the most no. dumbest choices? No, it has nothing to do with stat or anything. Who is the dumbest person sitting at the table? Matthew. Oh, Matthew, yeah. Okay, so Matthew walks the up. Fucker. I think that's Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, that's Matthew. Matthew walks up to, to the Shadow Figure. Shadow Figure says, let's play a game. We're going to play a game of chance. I just completely forgot. What? I have an initiative of negative one. Yeah. <laughs> A shadow figure walks up with a with a chest. God, playing a game of chance. One of these will heal the entire party and take you up, and one of these will kill you instantly. Oh, you son on. of a! You get to choose. Like, hey, wait a minute. I have something to help with it. Huh. Noah, fuck me. And I want to watch. You I want to what? Watch. No, okay, look. look. You, oh, I, you I'm just. So... <laughs> Goodbye, people. And I activate my aura protection. It did not have a green dot on the back, so it's on the bottom, so it's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, they do yeah. have a slight different color, and I can see it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> These are all sanitized, no one, so uh, you can drink these, no problem. And it's just Gatorade. Charlie, why do you think I was looking at them all so intensely? You shouldn't have looked at them. You just pick one up and drink it. Out of life and death, I choose to uh, pick it up. All right. So, everyone see Shadow it. figures takes the chest away. They take these away until Cassie gets a potion. Yeah, because I'm a potion short. Make more. Make more. Make more. Not like we got a funnel or anything to put them in. You know, fun fact. Even if he had drawn the wrong potion, he still would have lived. No. Because I have aura of protection. Yeah, this right here would not matter. It's a godly death. It's oh. being murdered by a wish. Oh, no. Yeah, I ain't got none for that. Make sure everybody has full health. You're, um... I already do. He says, do. You, sir, have chosen correctly. You will not die today. You will not burn in hell. And you will not have to go and find Dante in his Inferno. Sorry, I've been making lots of Dante Inferno references recently. I've been watching a lot of Halo. And it's full of Dante Inferno. So, he says, this is your, this is your uh, reward. I am sending you to the next to last floor. I'm sorry, did you just say you're sending us to floor 99? Give me the book, Alex. Oh, the Monster Man. Oh, no. Bitch. You I had not... to do this while I was eating my vegetables. Fuck yes, you. I did. I did indeed, and you will all suffer. Wait a minute. Monster manual or bolos? Monster. So I'm looking for something very specific, because that also sets the final encounter. Hey, we, bitch. I mean, we don't have to go up all the floors. It's going to be an ancient red dragon, isn't it? Oh, I'll wish. Oh, you, no. Are you going to be using one of our little dragons for this one? He didn't bring sure. it. Matthew didn't bring it. They're right here. Please tell me it's not going to be Tiamat. A what? Tiamat. It's not Tiamat, the dragon god. No. He just made it sound like that was like the weakest thing after he was in the. Tiamat world. is stronger than a Tarasper. I'm telling you, he's stronger than a I mean, Tiamat is borderline invincible. He, he would have one shot all of us. Lord. I mean, you get up to the Bahamut's final floor. The only one that's ever threatened. So it. ignore oh. the wings on this damn thing. I, no I see. Wings. No, no. This is not a dragon. I'm just using it as its figure. I see picture. Fun fact: Tiamat went down in price in uh, AVR. Yeah, good for you. Um, so y'all get to the next floor. Shadow figure never shows up. This one's real. There's a terrasque on the floor. Fuck you. Ah, uh, no. little terrasque with like. Terrasque. Wait, we can't even kill a terrasque. Good yeah. luck, Matt. What do you mean, me? No, I mean literally. Isn't it like almost it's, invincible? It's impossible magic? to kill a Tarrasque unless you have a wish spell. None of us have a wish spell, Charlie. Not necessarily a wish, you could also punch it really hard. 
I have your strength of 13. <laughs> Okay, hand me that book so I can read off the exact wording yeah, there. Yeah, I can see what it says. Yeah. We'd all be dead. Not immune to, I mean, not, I mean, it's got damage immunities to fire, poison, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, and non-magical attacks. Damage immunity, motherfucker. None of us can do anything to hit this thing. It could be hurt by magic. Uh, my strongest thing is a fire spell. Mm. And its max health is only 676. So, in other words, I can't do anything. Uh, you're all fine. We're all dead. Me and Alex, will you stealth and hide? No, go. I can't stealth. Are you fucking forgetting? This is my guy. Oh, yeah, you switched. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be the only one that has a chance to survive. Okay. Hide so, like a little bitch for the rest so of the So let's, let's roll our initiative, because we're all oh, about to be knocked I, out of this tower after three changed, episodes I, anyway. I think he changed oh, no, this right here is not a normal for us. It's a little weaker. I'm not that... A weaker. little weaker, my dickhole. Got the same hit points, but his armor class is not. Are you saying you have a narrow urethra? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying it's so wide that I could flood this room. Now be quiet. Oh, I don't even bob. What? Turn to the down. Insanely full. All right, so. <laughs> so, this Duras will roll an instant zero on initiative as well. And y'all all get first. You're giving. Attack. Okay, wow. Instantly. Okay, well, let's roll for initiative. Ten. I could probably get out of ten. Five. Nineteen. Did you add your modifier? Plus one. Initiative. <laughs> oh. Initiative. Twenty-two. Twenty. Oh, I'd have fifteen then. So it is Noah. Then it is Cassie. What do you have? No, it's Matt because I know. I have fifteen. And then Alex. Alright, so, Noah gets to go oh, first. Who wants some red velvet cookies? Well, if it wasn't red velvet, I absolutely would. Oh, fuck you. Then. We're all going to die here. Are y'all prepared? Oh. Well, I did, tell Al, I did tell Matt he was meeting the Watcher today. Well, hold on a second. You don't know what the Watcher is. What is the Watcher watching? The Watcher is the guy in Purgatory that leads you that leads you to the staircase to take you to heaven. Is the Watcher watching Watch Me? Sure. Okay. So, <laughs> He's um, watching over Lost Souls. Yeah. I, but no, if you die way. in a tower, you don't die. Yeah, you but, don't. You just that has actually increased uh, Blender's stock. Did you ever realize that? What? Blender's stock increased after Overwatch porn became a thing. Yeah. It did. All right, so Noah, you get the first turn, by the way. Yeah, Okay, I gotta fight that thing? Yeah. You can make your movement, followed by an uh, attack. Right, let's see what I got here, man. And so bag of tricks. I missed him. I'm gonna use. So, what is. What is its limits? Like, does it have any. <laughs> okay, at first I wanna. Hang on. <clears throat> is it classified as an animal? No. I wouldn't think so, no. It's okay. a monster. I actually don't know where it would even say that on here. Huge be It should be on its stat block. I summon giant insect. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I gotta roll. Yep. Uh, 19 plus Arcana, which is. Duh, 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 duh. Plus 9. So it goes before you anyway. 28. Giant spider. Hmm. Yep, it has entered the fray. Okay. It's 29. You had 25. Cassie had. Did I literally roll last? I'm putting 19, yeah. Matt had like 15, oh, and I was had 5. Close enough. I still got the right list. Alright. PR has a total of... Yeah, be careful, they are very crumbly. Alright, so, um, what else are you gonna do? Okay, so you've taken your turn, so I guess it passes you and goes to Cassie now. Because the spider is ahead of you in turn. Or should or would we jump the spider? Let's I mean, we could spider. do we could yeah. do like back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's jump the spider this time since he just entered the fray and he rolled higher than you anyway. So yeah. we'll jump him and he'll be he'll be next for this turn. Then after Alex, it'll be the spider's turn again. All right. So now it's the spider's turn. Uh, Matt, I need something to represent the spider. Here, I got something. Yay. Yeah. This is a shout out to my cousin. She drew those. 
All right, John Spider, it is. I love how no one dwarf all of us two on the board. He's like E Tree from Thor. Oh, by the way, I want to make my position on this issue very clear. There's a new movie coming out called Cyrano. Peter Dinklage is starring the main role in that as a small person. Peter Dinklage decided that he was going to protest Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which is already going to be a crap hole of a film. However, he made his fortune being a dwarf on camera. Okay. So therefore, I'm boycotting his movie. Okay, good. You know, Spider starting. Spider uses uh, remove. Sure. Is that within his movement range? Yeah. Technically, okay. we didn't actually establish what we never the really established it. Yeah. I mean, what what should we say this grid point is given the size of the app? Um, it has a range of thirty feet, square. so it can move about thirty feet. Yeah, that's plenty. One one meters per square. Okay. Or, yeah, sure. Yes. Oh, my bad. It says in the spell if you want to read it. You know, I can't read. What about it? Hmm? What about it? Tell me. I transform up to ten centipedes, three spiders, five wasps, or one scorpion within the range of giant virgins, which I I have those animals on me at all times because I'm a insect druid um and i turn them into giant versions okay so i have three giant spiders well they're all going to be one and just do triple Fair enough. here <laughs> is a three right there there you go okay. uh each creature each creature da, 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 you have the statistics of each creature in the monster manual okay uh until it drops to zero hit points it's still a thing so you allow me to choose different targets, or whatever. So they're, I'm guessing they're going to attack us one, so their damage deals three times yeah. three. Yeah. Okay. So they're all going to attempt bite. All right. What's that damage? Um, in the monster manual. I'm looking for it still. It's just spider. Is it just spider? Not yeah. Giant just spider? look up spider, and then it gets multiplied yeah. by one d ten. So you just have to say the whole alphabet to us, and you have out loud to be able to figure out where it is. Figure out where S. That giant spider! I see it! No! Good for you. <laughs> and he's having an aneurysm. Spider isn't in here. Yo, bro! Got it right here. Good. Okay, cool. What's that? Do? Uh, armor class is fourteen. Hit points is twenty six. Uh, you have to roll for a. You have to roll to break the Tarasky's armor class and damage. What's his armor right. class? Okay, so do I have to roll for each one of? Them? No, I think you know what its armor class is. Probably very high. No, it's not. Um, eight. Modifier. What's the modifier? The modifier is plus five to hit for bite. Um, I'm confused about add strength modifiers that has one. So you said the Tower of Wishes had a hundred floors, right? Plus mm -hmm. two. And That's we were it. put on the next to last floor, right? We're on floor ninety nine. So wouldn't the wish be granted at the roof? Which would be the hundred and first floor? No, just hundred after you clear the one hundred floor. Oh, okay. It's total of ten with the B strength so modifier so and the plus the, five to hit. What's the strength? Uh, its strength is fourteen plus two. Okay, so ten. Um, so that is exactly even with the with the um armor class roll for damage. Okay. Matt, my calculator's up there. I found the TV on the left side. So one D eight plus three. Times three. Is it eight? Hmm? Yeah, this is eight. Eight. Six, nine, nine times three, twenty-one. Really? Yeah. Because there's three spiders. Yeah, he does have three spiders. And they're all attacking. That's twenty-seven. Twice. What? That's twenty-seven. That's twenty-seven. Yeah, 9 times 3 is 27. Oh, okay, yeah. So say, that don't seem right. Alright, so 27, so that is, um... Oh, it's gonna be all... Oh, yeah. What you expect? Yeah, he yeah, also he... does it, and it has to roll a constitution roll. Otherwise, it's gonna get poisoned. 
Or is it Wait, immune to poison? Wait, isn't it immune to poison? Yes. Yeah, I think it's immune to poison. Yeah, so no. Okay. Never mind. It won't matter anyway, I feel. Alright, so, summon three spiders. Three spiders go bite. Bite. Hurt that thing. Alright. Next of. is, um, uh, Cassie, somehow. Mm. Uh, who's the strongest? Who got the most damage? Matthew will be the most useful here. No, I won't. Fireball. He I can do basically fire. nothing. I have no enchanted weaponry other than radiant damage, but that's very minor. So, so. I guess I'll put... Okay, keep mind, y'all do gotta work together, so Alex could be used as a decoy while Matthew gets a, a fast fireball. Oh, I'm not a decoy. I'm, I guess I'm, no, I'm just saying you could. I'm a tank. tank. Okay. Roll the cast. D20. Mm hmm. Can. Modifier, on which the back. is. gonna be just plus two. So 12. 12. Um. Uh, I'll let that pass. So Matthew, make make note that you have uh, Death Ward on you. Next is Which Matthew's means that turn. You, if, when, if you get down to zero, you don't die. You stop at one. Yeah, you stop at one. Yeah, welcome. Is my turn now? Yes, it's your turn. Does he have anything to protect himself against necrotic? No, not at all. Alrighty, so I gotta roll mm. to see if I can cast it. Uh, what am I supposed to be adding to it? Uh, if it's a spell, it's arcana. Alright, I have a 20. Don't get up there. Modifier. Yeah, 20. It's above it, that's not the modifier. Yeah, arcana. It has a 7 okay, beside it. Down. And you got plus 7. You can get up here on the yeah, bottom of it. I have rolled a spell. Which is equal 20. Okay, now I see what you're saying. Okay. You definitely cast. Alright, I am going to use Finger of Death. 78 plus 30 necrotic. 78. Hmm. Here's the dice tray. Uh, don't get up there, love. Uh, can you help me get some? No. I don't know what the. You know I'm not good with dice. Uh, just some. That's not with me. It's these. I don't put these with it. Well, I, I got good news. We resist any and all spells and fear while you're in 10 foot radius of me. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Alright. Seventy. Alrighty. Let's see what I get. Three. Yep. Five. Mm-hmm. Four. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Yeah. Five. Uh-huh. Four. Plus thirty necrotic. Plus thirty. Fifty-three. You could do so much better than that. Yes, I can. Alright. Actually, I might want to keep those. Do you want a tomato, Mona? Is that what you want? I think he's smelling your jerky. No, that's too bad. Jerky bad. If I didn't get two ones, that would have been better. But still good damage. No, no. Mona, get down. No, no. Next is Alex. Alex. Okay, then. So, I can do three attacks per turn here. Where's that jerky? I haven't had any. Pass to your wife, Charlie. Ah, she's a jerky. Okay. So, uh, he's, he's, he's going for the cop. Uh, yeah. Hey. So how much life does this kitty hey. add? Okay. Bottom so, basic. I can do three, uh, three per turn here. Uh, I don't really have any spells that could do literally... Uh, Oh, goody. I'm going to do Moonbeam. Fine. All right. It's a concentration-based spell. Uh, basically, I'm able to summon a Moonbeam down on a target area. In this case, the area where the terrace is sitting. Yeah. Wait, don't you have to be outside to have a Moonbeam? Not necessarily. No. Not in this case. Magic guy, okay. and then uh, do you know do you, do you know the Eggman you quote? Finger? Can you do the Eggman quote? No. I'm going to piss on the moon. Don't piss on moon. No, not piss. Well, Run, moon. Run. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, Alex. Anyway, so 
Uh, Why is Case the don't target to must it? make a con save of 2d10 or greater. Uh, you He takes half damage on um, fail, half on pass, once per turn. All right, one more combo. So you target the boat beam around him. Yeah? Basically, I'm going to take a beam, put it right over his head. Uh -huh. Unless he moves, by the end of the turn, he's going to have to make a constitution roll. This constitution roll has to be greater than 2d10, as in has to be greater than 20, yeah. in order to pass. If he fails, he takes all the damage of 2d10. If he does not, uh, if he passes, he takes half. Okay. These things count in stars. What is the constitution? These things count in stars. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, let me look up Moonbeam. Uh, I don't know. Is, is that is that your only move, by the way? Uh, no, I have two more, so I'll go ahead and do the other two. Yeah. Uh, then I will use my extra attack. To... Keep in mind, if you're doing a concentration spell, you can have to keep concentrate. Okay, I'm just going to do that spell last. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to hit him with my mace, which also does... Uh, so you're moving up to him, then. Yeah, I'm moving up to him, yeah. So, my mace does 1d6, plus 1d8 radiant damage, plus 3 extra damage on okay. top of that. So, let me see. Roll for armor class. 20. Let's see if I break the armor class. No. Okay. You roll? 7. No, oh, okay. That's not good enough. Okay, well then, I'll try my extra attack with the tail attack. That's what I always get. 18. That's a hit. Okay. That's like 8 plus hit. Hey, it's not going to be great. It's just 1d4 plus 3. Okay. That. So let me get my d4 out. 1. <laughs> so 4. 4 damage. Okay, I just did 4 damage. Now for the moonbeam spell. Okay. All right. So while you're looking that up, he is going to move closer to the party. I will let you roll for concentrate to keep the beam on him. I just lost my clock from the book because I almost dropped the book. Now I gotta find the stupid terrace again. Okay. I got it. It's pulled up. Okay, silvery beam of pale light shines down, five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. Uh, until the spell ends, a dim light fills the cylinder. When a creature enters the spell area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain. Okay. It must make a constitution saving throw. It takes 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save. All right, so it doesn't say what the constitution save is uh no it uh, doesn't seem to okay so it just says must pass the constitution yeah constitution okay yeah i would have to say he passes it okay so it's half damage on pass yeah so, so you would roll 2d10 2d10 yeah so half of whatever we roll so let's hope he rolls a 20 at least uh seven and eight so that's 15, Charlie. Half of 15. God damn it, Charlie. Fractions! Eight. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? So I opened up Amazon, and the deck of many things comes up. The deck of many things is not the same thing <laughs> as what you're thinking of. That's actually a completely different thing. I know no, what that off of D&D. Yeah, I know that. That's not the same thing. It's not... The same deck of many things is actually a whole different thing. It's um, it's a D and D aid, is what it is. I know. All I right. thought that was funny. So he did move. Yeah. After he started his turn in the lights, you could roll to concentrate to keep the light on him. Actually, according to this, I can just use a turn to move it sixty feet in any direction. I can't move it once my turn ends. Okay. Well, then we'll do that. All right. The uh, Tarask is going to take a tail attack. Which is going to be everybody roll. Um, actually, I gotta roll. 
I rolled a two. So that did not. Does that hit you. anyone? No. no. So everybody jumps over his tail, and uh, I'm going. Wait, everybody to... jumps over. Yeah, he swung his tail. Wouldn't that be a dexterity? No, because I rolled way right, low. Right, you didn't even break the armor box. Yeah. Uh, He's definitely. Not... Yeah, that wouldn't. I don't think that would kill anyone. I'm pretty sure everyone got. It wouldn't hit way. nobody. I'm pretty sure everyone got over ten. Everybody's got over two. Everybody ducked. Maybe. All right, so everybody dodges it. Now it's a uh, giant spider. Giant spider. Giant spider. Giant spider. Giant spider. Okay, it's giant spider. I don't know. What did Cashy do? Oh, Cashy did death ward. Yeah, he did death ward. Um, it moved closer to us. I kind of wanted to stop moving. So, um... What? Okay, so I'm going to... Each one of them are going to use web. Okay. Which is a range attack. Okay. Uh, once it's hit, uh, the target is restrained by webbing. As an action, they make a D12 at their upkeep, or whenever they it comes their turn, they make a D12 to break out of it. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's immune... Uh, it's vulnerable to fire, immunity to bludgeon, poison, or psychic damage. So you can burn the webbing, but you can't do anything else. Okay. Alright, so uh, I'm going to roll three separate times for it. If the first one hits, or the second one hits, and the third one is cool. Yeah. And... <clears throat> What'd you roll? An eight. I'm pretty sure that's a miss. Okay, let's go for number two! Is that a one or a seven? It's a seven. Okay. That's a twelve total. Let's go a little higher. A third one! Well, that's a hit. That's a 17! That's a hit. Yeah, he's right. he's immobile! So he can't move now. He can't come near us. Okay. He's stuck right where he's at. Alright, so um, everybody, that means everyone gets around him and Matthew can fireball the hell out of him. Fireball, he's resistant, I thought. Or almost resistant. Resistant? Um, actually, it does say damage immunity, but um, it doesn't include explosion. Only fire. Charlie has really nerfed the fuck out of this Tarrasque. He didn't even take advantage. I think it's more of a Tarrasque shade. Yeah, I know. I know they have multi attacks. He could have taken five attacks. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to kill everybody in one turn. Yeah, that's why you made like a Tarrasque shade or spirit. Whatever it is. It's not a Tarrasque. It's a weakened Tarrasque. It's been trapped in the tower. Thankfully, I could have resisted his frightful presence. All of us could have. Yeah. All right, so now it's actually Noah's turn. Consuming nuts. I see this. Oh, uh, well. You like those nuts, don't you? He's eating my chocolate. He's got a lot of nuts in his mouth right now. Are they big and hairy? They were at one point. Oh, they were. I just want to point out that they were originally Alex's nuts. So that means that he's eating Alex's big and hairy nuts. Is it, is it immune to... What is it immune to? It is immune to... Uh, fire, poison, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. Would fireball count as fire or explosion? Explosion and fire. Okay, so... Technically, it does say non-magical attacks, so fireball is a magical attack, too. Yeah, my mask would have done shit. Anyway. So, in other words, fireball would hit or do something, or not? It would, because it is a magical attack. And can I'm going to... So it's immune to poison, right? Uh, from non-magical attacks. So you can't shoot him with a poison arrow, but you can poison him with the spell. You yeah. can poison him with the spell. Yes, as long as okay. it's magical poison. Yeah. Then I'm going to do Stinking Cloud. I'm going to fart on him. Nice. All right. Please roll. By the way, who is in within a 20-foot radius of me? It does Everybody. have reduction to immunity of charm, fright, and paralyzed and poison. Yeah, mom. Yeah, sorry. It does. Well, this is not poison. It can't be poison condition. Yeah. Condition immunities. Okay. Well, this is not poison. I don't know. Okay. I create a 20-foot radius sphere of yellow, nauseous gas. That centered on a point within range, the cloud spreads around all corners in its area and heavily obscured. The cloud lingers in the air for the duration of the battle. So it's going to be there for a while. The battle's going to smell like shit. 
Uh, each creature that is completely within the cloud at the start is turn must make a constitution saving throw against poison. Ah, shit. Never mind. So, what are you doing then? Are there any plants in the building? Poisoning us all, apparently. There are vines and stuff on the wall. Ah, on the what? I'm going to choke it with a plant. I'm pretty sure we've, we've discussed that before on the dragon fight. Minus I'm going to do commune with plant life. Okay. Let's try that one. What about me? You got burned through a floor. I'm going to try to make the vines wrap around its neck and choke it to death. I really hope you do. What? Is that a 20? That's a 19. I was hoping it was a 20. All right. Let's just say it's a 20. It wraps around its neck. What kind of damage does it take? Plants. Converge. It takes choking damage. I don't... Alex, how long does it take for something to cast out from choking? A long fucking time. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about that kind of choking, Alex. So you just wrapped your hands around my neck and held me. To oh, you would only be unconscious for a few seconds. Now, how long would it take for you to knock me out from it? So I'm saying. How long does it take to die by choking? It can depend on people. There's not going to be good. According to dhss.alaska.gov. Brain death will occur in four to five minutes if strangulation persists. So you could keep that around his throat for six turns. Oh, That's will... strangulation. Well, here's the thing. You gotta keep focus on it, though. I have to keep focus on it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Noah. That's six turns he has to roll like a 12. Well, while he's doing that, he's also being choked, so can he... Can the drug really attack Wolf? He can't also, move anyway, so also, no. that thing could rip vines, because vines are pretty... He can't move. You've got him immobilized. Right. So I just got him trapped underneath the webbing while vines are wrapping around its long neck, choking it. And I'm not going to use fireball. I'm not going to do that. It probably. I almost farted to that make sure it would bad. burn off the spider. And it hit everyone in the area. Ah, it would be uh, everyone. All right. All right. So, so uh, now it's different. That is Noah's turn. Now we're over to Cassie's turn. Cassie, I got what are you doing? I got him home. He's, oh, he's no, still. No, I can do oh, I can hold him. You can whip him with a whip. Noah, no. Choke him with the whip. <laughs> Noah. That's uh. Me. So. It'd be funny if the trap. I guess I guess I'll whip him with a whip. Twenty-six. It'd be funny if the trap. After my initiative. Let me roll my initiative. Now no. your initiative, your strength. My strength. Oh. Thirteen. Don't be funny. What's your strength? If if the trust okay. was able to talk and Charlie would have if if it was able to talk, Charlie would probably make him say harder, Daddy. Okay. I mean, that's a hit. That's what the Charlie would do. Okay. And what was Matthew, I'm just gonna tell you this. Uh, I'm gonna kill you eight. first in my campaign. Alright, so roll a D six. Well, I'm probably gonna be dead this campaign. Two. Oh, I I'm sorry, I, I wasn't talking about your character. <laughs> campaign starts. Hey man, all right. For six. <laughs> I took two points. Matthew, Yay! is there any way for me to hide myself? Uh, yes. Just go to the other side of the fucking room. Wait a minute. What's your passive perception? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's ten. <laughs> it's ten. <laughs> all right. So just a d twenty to try to hide myself. Yeah, you're gonna need uh over ten. Five. And then what would get added to that? Stealth. Yeah. Stealth plus 10, so no matter. I got a 17, so I got a 27. I am invisible. Well. Alright, where'd you move, though? Uh, no, he's just gonna stay right where he is. He's you know? gonna hide behind well, Noah? No, I'm gonna go six, I'm gonna go 60 feet over here to this corner. Sure. Alright. Next is uh, Alex's turn. Okay, then. So, I get my three attacks. First attack I'm going to do is uh, I am going to. He's still in the moonbeam, so that's fine. No, um, he had moved. moved. Remember, he, he did. It's a yeah. sixty foot radius. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wait, isn't that mean everyone's in it? Yeah, but only okay. the aggressive monsters get hit. Oh, uh, so it's only monsters. Yeah. Okay. Thankfully, Thankfully we'd all be dead otherwise. Uh, no, I mean two d ten. Oh, it's only two d. Yeah, two D ten. Uh, okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare a spell called Ensnaring Strike. Okay. What this does is, uh, I have to cast it first. Okay. Then, when I make my 
second attack, uh, they have to succeed in a strength saving throw, or they will be restrained by thorny vines. And okay. we'll we keep it this way. Yeah. So, so you're preparing it for next turn. Well, no, no, no. Basically, I'm casting this spell first. Okay. So I need to know what the hell I'm supposed to roll for that. <laughs> don't forget to roll for concentration on the other stuff. Yeah. Well. I don't think it's... Hold on. A concentrate spell has to be concentrated every turn. I don't think it was a concentration. I could be... Well, if it ain't concentration, then it's not a deal. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let's let's make make sure. Okay, moonbeam, five e spell. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on. Da, 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 da. Try to yearn into six five. Um, let's <laughs> see. Second level, it it's not. It's an evocation. Evocation. Okay. Yeah, so it's an never... evocation. It's not a concert. Kibble's behind me is sleeping so good that he has his tongue. She she has her tongue hanging out. She also probably want you to touch your titties. Uh, what? Touch your titties? <laughs> yeah. titties? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to roll a G20 to cast, if I'm not mistaken. No, she's now your friend for life. Uh, you get to take her home. And I'll then I'm pees. pretty... She pees when you put her in the car. And she won't stop. Well, it's good because I don't have the grocery gator. What? Yeah, I sold it. Really? Yeah, to a scrapyard. Okay. I uh I had COVID about two or three weeks back. Yeah. So I couldn't work and I didn't have enough money to support myself. And my mom didn't have enough money to put, support us either because she just had to pay tech a remaining amount of money. So we were just like, well, what do we do? And I'm like, well, here's the thing. My grocery gator is broken anyway because we just, because I tried to fix the window motor. Oh, no. And I fucked up, and I knocked the door panel off to where it won't go back on. And the windows are permanently rolled down, and the front headlights are hanging on the front bumper, and everything's just fucked about it. Okay. So I was like, look, I'll just drive it till you pull it. There's an extra car that we use for parts that's totaled, and it's in my name too, so I'll take that, and we'll pull it till you pull it. So I sold both of them for about $500. Okay, and, so uh, um, down the west gate. I'm going to cast to, to, to Ensnaring down. Strike. I'm going to cast Ensnaring Strike. Um, so Paladins use Charisma to cast, from what I understand. Yep. Just like bar, um, Bards. And I have a 20 in Charisma, so that's a plus okay. 5. I rolled a 3. Yes! So you failed the cast. Yeah, so I failed the cast. You go to cast it and what was it? Thorns? Yeah, Vines? it doesn't really work. They move and then they just go back to how they were. Yeah. You didn't have enough magical energy. Your god didn't love you. Oh god. Wait, no. Hold Charlie, on. Finger Wyvern Spur is my god. As I'll say, y'all don't really have a god. Y'all have that one in this kind. Yeah. I have a god. How are you supposed to be a, a, a paladin without a god? What are you talking about? Fiendir Wyvern Spur is a god. He stole the power from the god of what's it? Rot. No wonder. This is an okay. old D and D third edition sort of shit. That's this is true, old yeah. school. All right. So now is the hold. Grass. Hold on. It's, whoa, whoa! I still have my two more moves. Yeah, yeah. So excuse me, Mister Whatchamacallit. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm just going to try and strike with my mace, which is 1d6 plus 1d8, radiant plus 3. Ooh, War of the Spark Spike. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you can't <laughs> play War of the Spark. No, but I use it. Let me, let me roll. It's a countdown die. You can't use it. Yeah, but it's speed 20. Uh, no, I it's a countdown. Look, you go from 20, 19, 18, 17. It's fixed. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Oh. It's a fixed die. How dare you bring that into the sanctity of d and &E. Let me see that. Hold on. No wonder I roll like shit with it. No wonder I can't roll for shit with it. It's a countdown. 10, 11. 9. 4. No, it is 11. It's look, not a, you're lying. Look, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16. 
Compare 15, that to a normal D20, 14, it's not 13, the same. Yeah. Well, it's oh. a countdown die. You, you use turn. it for life total and match the gathering. Yeah. Oh. No wonder I can't roll for shit using it. Oh, well. Hey, you got a net 20. <laughs> oh! No, well, please don't tell me you're spilling my budget. Please be sure to leave our new taxes. I just paid them off yesterday. Make it no one knows. Okay. So, I rolled uh, D10, and I don't think there's any proficiencies to breaking the armor class, so. Okay. Yeah. So, I didn't get that. Let me try the, claw, uh, the tail attack. Uh, like I said, I, I got nothing. <laughs> Roll one. Six. Don't okay. All right. So next is the terrestrial. I'm not gonna roll that one. Yeah. Because, because everyone's so spread out, I can't give anyone any shielding. And because I rolled an eight, my terrestrial is unable to move, unable to really do anything, because all of his attacks are physical movement. Mm -hmm. Can't even swallow. Oh, oh, yes. even my drink, Noah, it's giant spiders. Yeah. Okay. Is giant spider going to use bite? Not good when two forty in there. All right. Roll a d twenty. He's probably already it's already a twenty. That is a boyfriend. All of the dice we have are D&D &D dice, with the exception of that one. I got that one from Puffle. And? You just break it. Yeah. Just break it? Yeah. It's, I, it's armor class, but I have okay, 10 for okay. this one. It's 10. So you it's can't 10. have more. Yeah. Okay, so it deals 1d8, 3 of uh, piercing damage. 1d8, plus 3. 1d8, plus 3. Times 3, three, three, really. Because yeah. there's 3 spiders. Take that ass. You hungry? I thought, for a second, I thought for a second you were talking to Noah, but... Do you see how fucking fast she moved? <laughs> I know, we got cat food in the bowl. You're hungry. I'm good. Yeah, I hey, while you're up, can I have a sodi? Only if you suck it first. A sodi, not a sucky. Eat the fucking soda. <laughs> Bring me another milkshake, bitch! Don't want to touch his tits. <laughs> Nobody does. I don't know why that's an option anymore. What? I don't even, I don't even suck as a dick, and I'm his wife. I mean, who Nobody wants, wants it. Who fought no a tiny little shriveled thing? You won't teach them. Well, I don't know what else fuck either of y'all fuck. Someone's talking about Okay. All right, so yes, he, he uh, bite attacks, they break, and uh, how much? Okay, so it's a total of 10 to break it. And it's, uh, right now. it is what? 4 plus 3, so it's 7 times 3 is 21. Alex, is that right? 7 times 3 is 21? Yes. yes. No. Yes! Seven yeah. times- Oh, I'm thinking nine yeah. times three! Yes, yeah, seven times three is You made that same stupid mistake last time, I'm though. Bad. I'm mad! Mad! I'm bad. mad! You gotta come in and let me get this some mad, like, no. I might be able to be a little bit of stick. Here's someone to put them on the No, I'm teaching middle school. Alright, so, next is... Noah. Roll a concentration first. Do we- do we have the ability to test- or do we have the ability to know what's my goal? Um, has Charlie even been keeping track of that? No. I doubt yeah. it. But I think that's a DM thing. DM can either tell us or... We're at 561 right now, unless you keep concentration. Oh, right, shit, I had to hold on to the lights. Yeah. Keep that concentration. Choke the bitch! 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 Noah, wait, 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 wait. You got a hat 20. Yeah, that's you get less that's worth three. So he got out one more time of concentration, he'll just fall in zero. We're choking you, and you ain't saying stop, Daddy! Let's go! He didn't say the safe word! We're pulling. You know what we're word. doing here, right? Hey, Cassie, it's your turn. You know what we're doing. Is what? Apple. We're choking. We're doing the dingo doodles. We're choking out a giraffe. Did they do that? Yeah! I'm so too. Okay, I'm gonna use my whip. I'm gonna, he, he's choking on. He hasn't said his legs on the whip. But I mean, I just tried to bind him up in thorny vines, so yeah. What's that? It feels really good. If that thing comes with eyes, I'm going to fucking leave this house. I got a fucking dick. What'd you say, Noah? If it comes when it dies, I'm going to leave this fucking house. Thank you. No, it's gonna happen. Charlie. Um, all right, to fix it. It's how your ass dies. Charlie, my character is pretty much just using I'm going to personally paper. email <laughs> Wizard of the Coast and ask if the Tarras can die by auto rug my, my guy's pretty much a guy with a giant figure. Well, they're going to tell you, according to the original lore, that no Tarras can actually die because they're the one. Yeah. Alright, Matthew's just fingering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hold on, I just had a thought. Yeah. If this isn't a real Tarrasque, would it fall under the, um... It is real, it's just been trapped in the floor for so long it's weak. Well, there's only one Tarrasque. According to the lore, there is only one Tarrasque, so this cannot be it. Well, there's no other Tarrasque in the land right now. Mm. 
I assume it's but he, he is in the. Well, you know, I haven't run into him anywhere else. Can we just make this like a, it's like a it's, shade? It's or, like a shade wait, 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 wait. Just, just, well, remember, because shade requires a heart. Remember at the beginning of this, all these creatures uh, yeah. are it's made of dark smoke. So they're not real creatures. At least I saw Charlie explain that at the beginning. Wait, no, no, this, could be, this could be a legit copy. This could be a copy. Yeah, yeah. A copy. It's a copy creature, Charlie. I don't know. Let's just say it is. Whoa. 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 All right. Make a traffic creature, Charlie. Come on. Let's... No, what are you? Ma- what are you doing? Death. You're fingering the threat. The, yeah, the from threat. 50 feet away. Let, let, let the DM say it. Come on, say it. Say well, it. Is well, it a copy creature? Oh, blazing... Fuck you. Penis. I don't got to have that. That, that was Josh. By the way, that thing is wrong. Instantly, right? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I from the it. side, it is Johnny's penis. He returns to the lady clutch and slaves her ass. That character was so amazing, he deserved the legendary item. <laughs> I have a 14. Why is his sword shaped like a dildo? And why what did I not know the great man? Many have heard of the legendary tale of Oh, yeah. Remember, I, I also have felt. I did it. Because I'm hiding. Remember that, Charlie? I've been wanting to finish the game Brutal Legend for so long. I just Two. haven't followed through. Okay. Six. Okay. Three. Okay. Six. Okay. Six. Okay. Two. Okay. One. Perfect. That is 26. Plus 30, Minus 30, Necrotic. Minus 26. Minus 30. Equals 499. And it was also a spell. You got that? Pot, pot, Damn it, squirrel. The radius of Applejack. Mm, no. Okay, wait. Right. Um, next is uh, uh, Alex. Did you add the stuff? Okay. Yeah. Let's try and snare and strike again. Come on. Okay, We're doing some BDSM shit up in here. How much did I do? I know. How much did I do? Nine. Did it hurt? Matthew, I mean, know what the MVP of this is. I mean, he's choking it out. Okay. So. That's uh, my chair and strike spell. Now let's see if I can manage to break the armor flash. Are we joking it now with Gordon's? Yes. Ooh. Hold on, I actually gotta hit it with the mace with it for work. So Otherwise, I just gotta shape. <laughs> okay, look, by the way, here's how this spell works. Yeah. I cast it, it's the next physical attack that I successfully make. So if I don't make this, well, then it doesn't count. If you know it continues concentration, though, it one more attack, and it die. I guess next physical attack could even be any more. Hold on, I wanna conduct an experiment here. Hand me a d20. Fucking 19! What about I think my dice may be sabotaged, so I'm not sure. I rolled a 20. 7, 19, I did a 16, 18, 17. Okay, it's just fine. Okay, so yeah, 19. So if I roll one more roll above D12 on concentration. Oh, wait, that means I broke, didn't I? What'd you roll? 19, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, this one's our class, only 10. Okay, then. So, that's 1d6 normal damage, so we'll just go ahead and discount that completely. It's not magical. Yeah. Okay. Then 1d8 radiant damage. I think that counts. Yeah, because it's magic. And then plus 3, because I get plus 3 to all Mesa. So, 1d8. Oh, by the way, did he roll for the beam? He did not. Constitution save, yeah. Uh, So, I just rolled an 18. Oh, wait, sorry. That was the wrong dice. Okay, uh, that's, a, that's a little high. 1d8. This is the 8. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Nice. 8! Eight. 8, and then what was the number 3? Uh, plus 3. That's it. 1d8 plus 3. So, 48. You did exactly 10 damage. Charlie. Damage. 11. No, 11 no, damage, no. Charlie. Okay, okay now for my, now for, uh, my tail attack. Does this count as your next successful attack right here? Well, no, that was the successful attack. He now has uh, the ensnaring strike effect on it. He's being jumped by thorns! Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me pull up the exact statistics on that. <sighs> what the fuck does our D&D do this map? I mean, you did something that's harassing. I didn't... I mean, I didn't shoot yeah, it. Yeah, did Wait, he's the one that chose to choke it. You're over there fingering it. She's whipping it. He's putting okay. thorns on it. Hey, that's next fireplace. Okay. Uh, uh, no reason I'm doing this. Rotting mass of thorny vines appears at the point of inta- impact. Mm-hmm. Succeed on a strength saving throw. So, strength saving throw, motherfucker. What? You need a strength saving throw for what, though? Uh, strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines until the spell ends. Okay, so I've got to make three strength saving throws. Um, one my single turn. One for you, one for him, and another one for him, actually. Okay. Yeah, two. Uh, and then... Two on him, one on him. Oh, uh, hold on. A yeah. large or larger creature has advantage on saving throw. If the target succeeds on the save, the vines shrivel away. Okay. Now, if he fails, he'll take 1d6 piercing damage at the start of each turn. Hmm. Alright, so, it's your turn over. Uh, yes. Alright, this is my strength saving throw on you. I failed miserably. That's yeah. advantage now. I still failed miserably. I rolled two and a five. Okay, then. Here's yeah. for the spider webs. I rolled a seven. That's a fail. And I rolled a 12 on his vine. Also a fail. 
Shoot. So he can't yeah. move to begin with. So he'll need to roll for his um uh, the radiant damage. What is that again? I, I rolled a constitution. I rolled a sixteen plus ten. I rolled a twenty-six. Yeah, he passed. So half damage. So he'll take one d six damage starting next turn, I guess. Five. Five by two. Let's say three. Okay. Yep. And uh, oh, and then here's my tail attack. It's probably not gonna hit. It was a fucking lucky shot. I guess it not even hit. All right, Noah. Yeah. We're, we're doing something. Oh, no, a giant spider. Oh, my God. I just realized we're doing bondage while it's in the spotlight. <laughs> it's got a huge spotlight. We're bondage. We're doing the whole BDSM shit, dude. Only yeah. our BDSM looks at their rape and terrest. Remember, Alex, there's hey, less time for rape than there is for murder. You brought this on yourself, by the way. Yeah, you brought this on yourself. I know. All right, go for my kid. Plus one did it. Why did it? Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. It's what you say? Why is that so low? Because it's trapped in the tower for so long. So what did that have to do? What? There's only one terrasque, motherfucker. And you're about to kick it out the oh, tower. Okay. Oh, okay. My ass. Oh wait, remember everything in the tower doesn't die. Whenever you stand up to your ass, out of the tower. It's just been trapped in the tower for a long time. We can tell I've never encountered it in the world. That means I had nowhere to actually technically place it, so I placed it here. Once you enter the tower. Now as soon as it dies, so I escape the tower. Yeah, it'll just be teleported outside the tower. But it won't be teleported into the town because it's too damn big, and I don't want to murder all the castles now. But it just teleport randomly in the world. Yeah, Did you guys in the boulder video? It's on the beam. On the beam. Right, I need to do the damage. I'm just staring at the stand like, what? what happens next? All right, damage. I don't know what to do now. I'm so low. Eleven times three. Imagine three. three. Plus what? No, eleven. No, eleven plus three. No, eight. It's eight plus three times three. Eight thirty three plus three times three is thirty three. No, no, hold on, Jim. Also, huh? eight plus three is eleven yeah, times three is thirty-three. Yeah. You're right. So it will be four eighty-four minus thirty-three. That's not high right for four eighty-four minus thirty-three equals four fifty-one. I, I don't think this matters. Out. If I roll, if I roll higher than a d twelve, it takes one last turn and then it's dead. It died this turn. It dies this turn if I roll higher than a d twelve. Choke the bitch. Choke the bitch. Choke the bitch. Choke the bitch. I hope I'm the last kid in the series. You know what it is. Choke the bitch. Do you have inspiration? Yeah, I do. Let me, let, me, let me fix that. That's an 18, man. No, it was a 2. It was Darling! Eight. You cheating bitch. It Wait, was a 2. He wants us over. <laughs> he wants us to stop raping the trash. <laughs> Hold on, I got the perfect variations. I got the perfect song for this. Rihanna, MCM! <laughs> yeah! Yes! No. 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 They wrote a 15 and all of a sudden and you moved it! The guys will get up on you and they cheated hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. He doesn't have a god. My god! So I'm trying to find him! Does it reproduce? Technically, it should. It doesn't reproduce. No, it doesn't. They're completely out of shape. It had some kind of orgasm on you. It did some kind of bodily fluid. No, no, no. It vomits on you, Noah. We're getting into the kingdom shit. Roll for constitution. <laughs> roll for psychic damage. No, no, no. Roll for constitution. <laughs> I'm even rolling for that. The terrasque just I rolled a nine. I guess I don't get hurt by that. Like I said, at least he might need you in his play. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I get saved from the vomit. <laughs> the god, I'm still out looking out for you. Whoever this powerful being is. Oh, hail fiend, dear wyvern spur. It is the mushroom from the other plane. Oh god. <laughs> She's watching over me. She's protecting no. you from all the The terrasque goes together. down. Start glowing in a bright, godly, heavenly light. As it then disappears in a particle effect, going out of the walls instead of upwards. <laughs> it's been using the flash the entire time. Mm. Adobe Flash has stopped responding. <laughs> we have been saved by the mighty Adobe. We have been saved by the <laughs> mighty Adobe. Now then, see the elevator come down one last time. It's a little I just different. love how he is not small and it's just overpowered all the way. I mean, technically, you're smaller than humans. I mean, he has four whole characters in that one build there. I know. <laughs> and I did... I, he choked it out. I, I just kept the fact. I, I mean, hey, you're the one who threw the thing that's immune to basically all normal damage. I mean, at least I was nice enough to make it weak in four. All right, so this platform comes down different from all the rest. It's not just made of stone. It's made of gold, silver, and marble. I've always still been marble. White marble. Why are you planning on breaking it in pieces to be able to carry? We only need a piece of it. Your to strength, bring stack us. Isn't th your strength stack isn't good enough. By the way, you try to break it and it shocks you. I never said I was actually going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Either way. Oh yeah, Charlie, how do you decide? Uh, Y'all hop onto the tower, onto the platform, right? Thank you. He wants to get the shit over with. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
Power of Demons. So, y'all go up to the next floor, and y'all see a figure for him. It's not me, I'm just using the representative. It's pitch black. It's a uh, hooded figure, again. Just glowing, though. He's glowing, or they're glowing lightly. Not he's just a they. Who is it, Magnus? No. He's from Morphs? No. There's no name. No, no. Fuck you. It says, I am the spirit of the power. Y'all have freed me from my curse. I am no longer full of um, hatred. For um, y'all dumb. Brave. For y'all's bravery and uh, strength, I will grant each one of you a single wish within my power. Define in your power. If I am able to cast it. I want to ask something. Is this your wish? No. Well, then, we'll see. Here's my question. Are you able to bend a Tarrasque to my will? Oh, no. Okay. Well, okay. Now I'm going to yeah, do my actual wish. Oh, mysterious spirit of the tower. I have traveled a long distance. To... Actually, I'm going to step forward when I'm saying this. Yes, oh, mysterious figure of the tower. I have come a long distance on a great and noble quest. My people have long been separated from their ancestral homeland within the Forgotten Vale due to the actions of the evil Moander, god of pestilence and decay. I wish for an object that could open a gateway to return my people to their home. Okay, okay, so different continent or different um, dimension? Different realm altogether. Dimension? Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, an amulet that would let me create a step that would let me create a gateway when I get back there. So you sent you down a stone, just the stone, not no amulet form, just the stone. Yeah, yeah. Stone. Yeah. Stone. Yeah. stone. No, the stone of the Russians. The no. philosopher's stone. No. All right. The sorcerer's stone. Let's do it the American way. <laughs> American way was the philosopher's stone. Stone no. was British. Stone was American. Philosopher's stone was French. No, but the philosopher's stone concept started in America. The Philosopher's Stone started in ancient Greece. It's neither English nor American. It's you're right, you're right. You're fucking right. Greek. You are what actually I'm right. What I'm saying, though, is that the Harry Potter book, Philosopher's Stone, was... I'm getting back to my mom. Oh. And the Sorcerer's Stone was American. So, the stone comes down to you, and it, you hold out your hand. And it lands on your hand and says, This stone, when brandish in an ambulant ring or any kind of golden um, housing... Mm -hmm. Talisman, golden. yeah. Yeah, some kind of... Just, you no know, housing. No, that's actually talisman. Right. Again. You can open up a door to lead to, to the original uh, to the original realm in which they come from, but you can only go in that direction. Oh, okay. One way trip. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't want to say anything about that. No. That's fine. You may go whenever you please, but once you walk through with the stone, there is no coming What's back. Yeah. At any point, it will always bring you back to the same it's original like metal. Where? Well, never have you. That, that's paper that I've been throwing. Oh. Oh. Um, it will always take you that same slot, so even if you cast it or use it... Probably, I'm not planning on using this during the campaign. No, 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 but what I'm saying is... I mean, you're, you're explaining all those points. Well, fine, then. Yeah, I'm not planning on using it during the campaign. This is my exit part. Okay. Yeah, I'm still going to finish the campaign. This was right. just my big goal. And you walk over to the side. Okay. Next, Noah steps up to the plate. No, yes, ma'am. Uh, what, what is it, ma'am? Let's try and figure out what she's saying. Okay. So, we have an order of 12 large dildos for Bad Dragon. And, okay. Yeah. Should we talk? Should we stop the volume? Let's call the screen. Um, no, ma'am. The pistol's out of the way of the volume for now. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, it was Aaron's notifying me that our taxes were paid off yesterday. Uh -huh. And uh, they're having a $1 down payment. And it was wondering if there was anything else we wanted to lease. A $1 down payment? A lease? Down payment order? We, didn't, we, weren't, we didn't have to down pay anything. We still did. Well, that's because, uh, well, we didn't even down pay. We just paid up front a large payment. Okay. You're supposed to have a down payment. So, but we don't have to because my credit actually that good. If you were to run my credit on it, it would be zero down payment. But that's all it was. They're having a $1 down payment deal. All right. No one. You're rich. What does the Floof Master want? Forty mushrooms is a thing. Oh, Jesus Wait, Christ. Christ. Forty mushrooms? I mean, we're going all the way to the first I, I'm going to say something here. If you bring that mushroom to the dimension, I'm going to have some DMs saying that, because that was my It thing. would not be the same mushroom, no. It would be a random ass forty mushroom. Okay. Forty trees can be made of things. This face that thing. Thank you, Do they have the grass thing? He's thinking like root tentacle porn here. God damn it, Charlie. <laughs> I'm trying to lure people off of other items. I want a non-magical weapon that can provide an insta-kill. Why the fuck would you want a non? I know what he wants. Give the gnome a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that one I call <laughs> <laughs> oh, gun 
buy an instant pills. No, I you want to work hard to a specific gun. No, oh, you specific. I can provide you in a non magical weapon gun. that can do the damage you wish, but you must go get it. I can tell you the location. 1d20 times 5. No. Okay, then we're not going to have this conversation. No. We'll change the wish. Instant kill. No roll. Just hit. All you have to do is break armor class. Got it. That's what I'm trying to say, but you have to go get it. Where is it? It is in the it is in the desert in a pyramid. Oh fucking a! Jesus Christ! You can find it. There's no plants in the desert. Did we just come cacti. from the desert with the pyramid where we were trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck cacti? No. Work out. Don't go to the pyramid. Yes, we did. We did go to the we pyramid. Did. We, we did. went to the pyramid and we buried the twin chest, people. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God. In way. Noah's campaign. Yeah. Well, different, no. different desert. We're in a different desert in a different campaign. Yeah. We're in a different thing. This, no, there's a desert on this continent with fuck, the with a dungeon in it. Fuck you and your gate thing. Actually, you know what? I want to change the wish. All right. I time. want my own personal biome in a bottle, like a ship in a bottle, but a personal biome where right. I can control all the animals, the plants, and the people inside it. You're going bottle. to destroy them. I want to fuck it so fast. Here is a bottle where you can put your plants and shove animals into it if you wish, somehow. I don't know how you're going to get it. It be filled with nothing but insects and flowers. This bottle can hold an entire dimension, but you can never enter it. You can only pull things out. Oh. Can put things in? Only life. Only plants and animals. Oh, so you, you're basically telling them about the plants and animals because they ain't got no soil. What about soil? No, no, no. There, there, there will be soil. It will be a self sustaining We get to pretty much form the bio. What about water? Yeah, we'll be there. It's self-sustaining. Oh. Self-sustaining. Yeah. Anything he shoves into it can live infinitely, all based off the resources that he put. Yeah, in what to react to traps? Huh? What? Yeah. So if like I'm in a room full of traps, it starts storming inside the bottle. Or you could just pull an animal out and throw it forward, see if it's a trap. Well, why would I want to do that to the animals? Because they could. Breathe. You said you hated animals. That was a big part now, of your character. You yeah. said you liked only plants. I do like only plants. Okay, okay then. All right, fine. Whenever there's a trap nearby, the animals will be my food source. What are you talking about? Whenever, right? whenever there's a trap nearby, an animal will jump out and run towards it and try to activate it. Oh, so it doesn't like where it's living? Okay. I didn't see, I didn't see a giraffe, like, jumping out of his pocket and running. Well, he had to put like, horse pocket! Horse, horse pocket! <laughs> Be a dirt little. I don't know, what's a dark <laughs> Why yeah, does a horse pocket sound like a really weird looking pocket pussy? Basically, he it just is. reached into his pocket and pulled out a horse. Oh, okay. All right, so, so here's the catch. You want mushrooms in it, you have to put mushrooms in it. They will start to grow once they're in there. If you want trees, you must put trees or acorns. Some, some way for them to grow, probably acorns. If you want animals, you have to put that animal in the bottle. So it won't start to take trust until you put the animal in it. Meaning if you shove Matthew in it, he'll start breeding in there, and then you'll have multiple Matthews running out. He ain't getting in there. I mean, that would be an army of people that use fireball. I don't know, really, like... Time is also what I would not do. the same. Time travels faster. In the it only thing that I would do would be something that's not genetical, just so I can bring in another character. Is he big enough for a booster seat? No, probably. Um, you're not quite so, but that's all that they have, like, just... Okay, help. Which, I don't know if they're not supposed to be before, but she probably did. So she should be fine. Well, yeah. So that's Noah's wish? Maybe you cut that out of the story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of controversial. How am I going to cut it out of the live stream? Is anyone watching? Dildos. I mean, they gotta go find people that are doing it. Alright, so. I don't know how Oric power is, do No. Oh, okay. Um, alright, so Noah's got his little vitamin in a bottle. Make sure to add that to your list, by the way, Noah. Yeah. Little thing. So you step over to the side. Now it's Cassie's turn. Ooh, make a match. Can you move her? Shirley. I think the automatic creator show. Hold on, there's a wonder side for that. I think it's called a what kind of alchemist or camper thing. And it's pretty much just a potion cra cra crafting kit. Oh. You get a potion crafting kit that automatically crafts potions, but you must roll to see how good they are. Not you must roll. Whenever someone's drinking, they must roll to see exactly how accurate they were. Good. There, that works your chest, too. Actually, that's what I was talking about. Okay. Fairly. So you you step aside, and here is Matthew. Okay, well, we're gonna get, we, had, we were talking about it a lot. <laughs> you killed the microphone! <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know exactly what's called that rock you gave me. Okay. A sigil stone. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Alright, so this is that for the character. What is exactly what we were talking Because me and you had multiple plants for it. You didn't even lick it. I was gonna bite it. You, you want me to lick your foot? You did nothing. You want me to lick your foot? I mean, hard time. <laughs> I did not lick it. Yes, you did. No, I, you didn't. Really did. I can see. Yeah, no. no don't touch your foot. He didn't. I'm gonna be in it's a notification for butt bugs that arrive. Probably. Like, no one, no one Google go through them too easily. I didn't know that. Charlie went all the He's like, I'm really into this, like, uh, spice of our sex life stuff. So he brought up a female condom. That's been months. You told yeah. me about that. It's been like right. a year. Charlie. Alright, so, yeah, Matt's over. Give him a stinger! 
So we were, me and you were playing. Okay, it was a metal to, you, to be used to uh, crack. Yeah, 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 but how would I, I know how that? it's supposed to spice anything up? Metal 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 magic, I would like a magical piece of metal Hello. just to help me craft a weapon of my choice. Here's the metal that 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 can uh, that can be attuned to your arcane talents. Um, take it to any blacksmith that you wish, and his skill shall determine exactly what you get. But this um this material will only attune to your magic and amplify it to its maximum ability. So, yes. add magic um, ingot on there. Magic you already know metal ingot. Right on here, not, not thing for that. I'm going to put potion crafting. Self crafting potion kit. Yeah, they I'm not, not right writing things. I don't know. Charlie. Just write the name up. We know what it is. Do we? Yes. Okay. I'm not writing anything to write it on. Got a whole table you set up. I'm not writing it. You remember what I'm using this for, right? Uh, I don't remember exactly what you're making, but I do remember you're making something. For a uh, for, uh, certain person. Okay. Yeah, my turn. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm seeing here. All right, so a bright yellow godly light or holy light starts shining. Uh, uh wait. Shouldn't all the demon worshippers in the room take damage? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Is it bright yellow holy light? Why well, would you make me take damage? I would also be taking damage. <laughs> I'm in the devil's right hand cheek. Fine. Okay? Everybody else leaves except for the two demon worshippers. That's in the top right. No. Uh, Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fiendier wyverns first. B Y N D E E R. Fiendier. Okay. okay, I did. I heard fiend and that was all I heard. Okay. Yeah. Right hand devil, right hand kid cat. That would be like murdering me. Well, I mean, what what did you expect was going to happen when he says, Holy bright light? Alright, so, y'all are here in Castle Town right there. And now we have to go to the desert to get Noah's, now, Noah's changed now I'm going to go on a self-righteous monologue using my special little half-broken speech amulet. And I'm going to say, well, my friend, it's such a wonderful time I've had with all of you. And we can't understand you! <laughs> and I just sort of hang my head in sadness. To what, I was to what, speak. what I was trying to okay. say... Oh, sorry. Are you still in back on the way to kid? No, just no you're teleported out to the front of the tower. Okay. Yeah. And so, so, basically, I'm just trying to communicate that I'm going to finish the quest with you all, and then I'll be going back on my way. Look at me. Did you see that? You were like, 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 Mama will let you be a whore. Please stop being a little whore over my head. Alright, so, um, y'all are all talking. Of Castle Town. Yeah, I did. What were we supposed what to be doing it? anyway? What did <laughs> <laughs> we forgot? We forgot the side. We literally did the Skyrim. We forgot the main quest and did the side shit. <laughs> we did. Charlie, don't go back to reread in his block. Looks like Chani's writing. All right, so y'all went to um. We forgot the main quest. <laughs> I don't remember what we were doing. None of us do, don't worry. No. We, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a Kingdom Hearts reference. When you climb up the tower, you forget what you're doing. We've been in the tower so damn long. Everybody, we're going to come out. Everybody's going to be old and gray. There's going to be a new king. Holy fuck, we've ruined everything. I think it's been a year that we've been inside that damn tower. Let's be honest, that's, that, the whole world will probably be destroyed because of, because of that light that was slowly spreading over yeah. the land caused by a, we come a beholder. Yeah. yeah. And, and we brought him a mechanical beholder, and the blight was still happening, and he's like, no, you gotta go fucking get us another beholder. And I'm like, no, that is some horse shit. <laughs> we come out to tell where everyone's dead. <laughs> Alright, so the fa last thing y'all did was y'all, um, y'all needed to go to the blacksmith, I do believe. Um, what? To sell the mechanical beholder? No. Not the I mean, you can, I guess. But... Yeah, that was one of our plans. Actually, I think I already sold it. It's no longer in my inventory. Oh, it might have. I think you completely destroyed it. No, there's some leftovers. I remember that. And Alex said he was going to take them. To sell them. Yeah, no, there's no mechanical beholder left, so yeah. Maybe we sold it already, though. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. That's why it's not in my inventory. That belonged to my previous character. He's, oh. he, he ran off with the ship, so yeah. we're all stranded, right? Because you were carrying down your uh, other things back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so y'all entered the Tower of Wishes. Y'all been to the Black Market. Destroyed everything. Um... Yeah, there's all black market shit. Have we bastardized enough yet, or do, do we need to keep these? <laughs> I know, this is the point where I gotta actually start using this stuff on my computer, because y'all have to go to the blacksmith in, um, Strong Fair. To do what? You gotta go get something for people. For who? Is this a fucking fetch quest? There's a few. God damn it. Okay. Look away. A dildo? Stop sending dildo pictures. Yo, 
It's a reminder what I was going to use this for. Dildos. No. <sighs> make whatever. You know what? I think this would be an excellent D and D rule. Whatever Matthew's trying to make is going to turn into a dildo. Yes. Now you see what I mean. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, y'all supposed to go to Strong Fair. Yeah. Okay. But hey, you to go? I just remembered something. Or y'all want to go to other places? Uh, I'm fine with going to Strong Fair. But I did just remember something. What? Was Was your hooded virgin did Did it still have the defective sort of warning up its ass? Yes, it does. <laughs> Okay, continue. So y'all come to Storm Fair. Storm Fair, you mean? Y'all get there without a single fucking comic. Fuck you. <laughs> so, y'all need a map. Yes, we need a map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. No. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Who's the one with the most intelligence? They should be the one reading this. I am. I think that's Noah. East Cliff. And there's Storm Fair. Okay. So they have blacksmith on there, I believe, right? There's smith, but not blacksmith. Close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh, I think the black lives matter people would say otherwise. So y'all are in town. Where do y'all go? Uh, there are two places in town. I go to the temple to pray. All right, Alex, go to the temple. Don't look at me so I know where everyone's at. Okay. Okay, then, Charlie. Okay. Okay. Okay, then, Charlie. Okay. Don't worry about it. Alex is in the temple. I'm going to the temple. All right. Uh, uh, there's a store and in a uh, square, a blacksmith in the temple. I need to use passive magic detection to see if there's any magic around. If you're on the tavern, not the temple. Uh, and there's a tavern. Um, there's no magic detected around this city. Just the uh, smell of murder. Okay, what? Where are the, is there? There's a square store in Temple Smith and Tavern. I'll go to the store. I'm sorry, did you just say the smell of murder? Yes. Mm. And the sounds of breathing. The sounds of breathing. You listen quite you might be able to hear it. Oh. <laughs> I think, I think there's... <laughs> All right. You son of a bitch, Charlie. Fuck you. <laughs> no, you're getting it wrong over there. I'll work it off. My table's a really good one. Can I see it going? No, it's already sounding like an asthmatic. Alex, uh, just look at tables. Look at them. Great to please him. So, this has been ML7's uh, bestiality stream here, I think. We've had quite enough. And the dwarf gets arrested for fucking I'm not getting monster. I do not fuck cats. Yeah, yeah, I love cats, but I will not fuck them. Not yet. Has gotten that part yet. All right, so. Noah, where are you going in the town? Where are we going in town? Remember, y'all were here to raise the team with Smith. I don't remember this. Neither do I. It's been four sessions. You you designed that tower very, very shittily. You know that. Yeah. House. Uh, there's a square which is full of little tiny markets. Okay, okay, uh, I'll go to the town square. Okay. And where is the cat going? I'm going to actually get a commission done of that art of my character's artwork. And give it to you guys. Nice. Where's the cat going? What? Where's the cat going? Nobody's pants. Go yeah, where the pussy at? I'll just want Matthew's back. Alright, Matthew, shove her down your pants. I can probably shove me down your pants, but then I'm on your bed. I'm down the, the I have a little cat sitting on my shoulder. Yeah. Sure. No, down the pants. And a few other beans. Whatever it was. <laughs> it was a bird. That used to I thought you said it was an owl. Alright, so, um, Alex, you're at the temple and you're praying. I'm praying to fiend your wyvern spirit. God does not hear you in this city. Shouldn't I roll for that? I mean, yes, I have a god. bondage for religion. He thought your god never responded. Well, no, Fingier Wyvern Spur, unlike the god of the Lizard Folk, is actually very generous. All right, yeah. uh, roll and I will roll. Oh, uh, hold on. I kind of have a problem with that. My sheet is under there. Why <laughs> you put it up there with a problem? I'm like, I look at the map like a dipshit. Okay, so where is religion? Oh, ah, yeah, plus four to religion. Is it really? No. Though, sadly, I have a minus one to intelligence. <laughs> so, that doesn't surprise me. So, yeah, I, does proficiency count on that? Because I do have proficiency in religion. Yes. Okay, then. You made a proficiency bonus to it. Oh, okay. So it's just a, it's straight plus four. Just straight plus four. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry. Should I roll d20 or d20? Oh. D20. Okay, no. Okay. And it's wrong. Plus four? That'll be the number 16? Yes. The number seven. I'm, I'm waiting for you to do math. I think it's uh, a24. I rolled a 16 on praying to fiend your wyverns. Right? I guess he hears you. In thanks for helping us on this epic quest and shit. He hears you? And he tells you that his people will wait when he's done with his quest. Okay, I'm going to respond. Noah, you're in the market. <laughs> I just yeeted one. I mean, you're in the town square. You see a little uh, florist in the town. A florist? A florist. A florist. Florist. Uh, a magically plant fucker. No, she sells flowers. I know. Uh, she fucks plants together. No, she's like, you've already made me finish, Noah. Why are you doing this more? 
All right, so what do you do? You see, you see a florist and a few other little... Uh, I'm going to go up to the florist and ask her if she has any plants for sale. Just any non-floral plants. I've got lots of things for sale, but I'm not really sure what you consider non-floral. Non-flowers, aren't flowers. I've got some ferns, they don't flower. I will, uh, are they sharp ferns? Not normally, but I guess if they're dry enough, they could be. Do you have any cacti? No. But there's a desert right outside of town. Do you have flowering cacti? No, there's a desert right outside of town. Why would a florist not have a flower in cacti? What kind of shit do I have a shop interest? The one that's right there next to a desert? You're a dick. You sell pussy willows? <laughs> uh, yes, I do on occasion, but that's only at night. Ask for a willow tree. Oh. Ask for willows. Yeah. Uh, do you sell roses? I do have a rose. Do you want a rose? Does it have a lot of thorns on it? I mean, the bushes vary. Uh, I would like your mo- I would like... Just, just make a oh, that's five roses. roses. <laughs> Alright, five roses will be three gold. Okay. Do you, also have, it's really... do you also have string? Why would I have string? He wants to make a bouquet. You can make a bouquet. Yeah. I've got a ribbon. I, n- I need string. I need something stronger. Why do you need something stronger? Sussy dark. All I have is ribbon. I'm sorry. Well, can you do me one last favor? What? Can you carefully, carefully remove the rose part from the stem? Are you fucking trying Gosh. to make a cat of nine tails out of roses? God damn it. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. As long as you want the roses, that they have the roses cut off, they will die. It'd be far easier to use uh, that. Unless I have anything to say about it. Here, she takes on these giant clippers. I'm oh, sorry, was that your leg, too? <laughs> you know, I stopped. And that's that for me? I can use druid magic and heal the roses. I just want the stems, you bitch. Then you healed the roses after she cuts off the heads for you? Yeah, I grow back new steps. Okay. Well, that's a very interesting uh, little technique. I'm sorry I cut off the tip of your dick. And it's like you said. Dick tip removed. This is now canon. Now my dick it. looks like a dolphin dick now. Then I... No, it looks like you got a circumcision. I'm about to know it's circumcised now. Yeah, you got yeah. circumcised. You, you, you have a thermosis stick now. I'm sorry, no. I had to do something to do it. No, my dick. Why? I just want to make... I was actually not going to do that. I was actually going to take a cactus stem. And, and stick it in your dick? No, <laughs> shut the fuck up. God damn it. I was going to take the cactus stem and wrap it around with the stems of the thorn bushes so I can make a spike back. I, I don't think that was going to work too well. Cactus stems are usually really thick, and you have small hands. I'm just saying. You know what, no, what it means when you have small hands, though? A little bigger. I can make, I can make, a, I can make a, a, a hilt. I can buy the hilt from the blacksmith and then put the cactus on the hilt and wrap it around with the stem so I can make a spike back. Well, I mean, cacti are also, like, really fucking brittle, but whatever. I also drew it. Which also means he can make it all that he can evil. I can easily communicate in Helica Hard. Or then just like my dad would have. Are you going to use that fucking one as a dildo? I'm going to not use it as a dildo. Instead, I'm going to bash your head open with it. Alright, so. You gotta you roll to break the armor class, bitch! Alright, alright, Matt, what are you doing? Wherever uh, the hell you were. I'm at the shop. I'm asking what all they got for sale. I got some spider silk. I've got an eyeball. A little bit of cactus. Um. <laughs> I've <prepped> mine. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is the lost leg of my great aunt. What the fuck? I think it's that leg. I don't know. I just don't want it. It's just in my junk pile. <laughs> you don't look like you have much money, so I'll give it to you for a gold. What? <laughs> you... Ask it out a little bit. Just buy the leg. Okay. Well, he's be. <laughs> Ask if I can hold it and look at it for a second. Set it on the table. Said so you touch it, you buy it. I use fast nine detection to floor the leg. Just a wooden ass leg. I don't. What the fuck's the point of this store? Buy the leg. Buy the leg. If you touch it, you buy it. And the shopkeeper says again. <laughs> what is up with this town? That's what I'm wondering. We'll really? find out. Well, everything's like murdery, and what? then this fucker's selling a wood. Wait a minute. What what race is this guy? Human. Oh, what does he look like? Raccoon. No, what? what does he look? Like? A very depressed and sad and poor and broken human. What the hell does he have a store? <laughs> Because he had stuff until a few weeks ago. What happened a few weeks ago? Well, if you would go to the blacksmith, you might find out. Which one was he praying? Okay, I say screw him and go to the blacksmith. <laughs> Alright, so Matt went to the blacksmith. I'm so nice. Do you want some? Alright, no one. You doing anything else? I want to make the back. You need the cactus. I want to make the cactus back. Well, then go to the shop and get the cactus. Yeah. Now I need to go to the blacksmith. Well, you gotta go get the cactus mitt first! Okay, then where's the cactus is at? The They're, the place, aren't they? They're at the store, they're selling them at the store. Yeah, there's the storekeeper selling some. Or you can get them at the desert outside. I'd rather get the one for the desert outside. Alright, so you walk out of town, head toward the desert. Yeah. Alex. 
I'm gonna go to the blacksmith, I guess. Where's the blacksmith? Alright, now the AC we don't get where because he's on my sh- sheep on my shoulder. Yeah. Alright, hello. We get to the desert. Yeah, do I find a cactus? Lots of cactus. Have a fist fight with a cactus. I want to find the thickest and biggest cactus I can find. You ask the cactus in your area, where, where's your where's your uh, where's your thick daddy at? And there is fun, he's over there. Okay, we cacti. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, that big thick cacti. And I and I and I and I lean over and I whisper to it. I'm very sorry, but I need you for an important mission. You must stroke me first. Yes. Okay. I stroke the cactus. You take the cactus falls over and unroots. Like just unroots. Almost like it was willing. What? I lift the frills out of my hand. That's not what I expected to hear today. Okay. <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess also didn't expect to see the What kind of cactus hey, is this? He's a, dru- he's a druid. He's a talk to him. No, no, I mean, what kind of cactus? It's a big, I thick, don't really tall know. I don't know cacti. Oh, it's a giant saguaro. Yeah. Sure. You know, those can weigh over 700 pounds, right? And it it's going to be bigger than him, most likely. I know. I'm trying to drag that back to town all alone. I will. <laughs> Three, the <laughs> Let's see if you got a bottle on you. Yeah, you do. And you can take it out. You could put it in the bottle. And it'll, and it'll self-replicate. Okay, it'll infinite cactus. I'll put it right. It is an idea, actually. You could also done that with the roses. Gee, oh, yeah. yeah. So you got infinite roses and cactuses and pull them out anytime you want. Congratulations. Yeah. Infinitely repairing the bat, too. Oh, you can do that. Just throw it in there and it'll make more because it's cactus. Yeah, and that's why cactus is flat. No, no, you can infinitely have the material to repair the bat if it breaks. Okay, so I get cactus, black cactus in there. The ties to hold the cactus to the hill, and I actually have to take the cactus and the ties to the blacksmith. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put it in my little. Bottle, okay. Yep. In my bottle. pocket with no, I just no. it. It actually looks like a giant ship in a bottle kind of thing, but the biome is inside it and it's hanging off me like a purse. Alright, so. Hey, okay. what happens if we ever smash into this? The bottle could not be broken. Alex did have a good point there. I think you said it couldn't be broken. Wouldn't it be like what happens if you turn a bag of holding inside out? Hmm. <laughs> Here I am. I guess the bottom would then self replicate wherever you're at, replacing whatever's there. If you, 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 you know found someone who could. Here, I got a sudden happy meeting. It is hard to break. If the bottle ever does get smashed into a million pieces. Did you just look into the box and see if there was more? Yes. Okay. Um. It should open a portal to the... What's the dimension that just has a bunch of jungles and shit? The jungle dimension, I guess. I, don't know. I think it's called the Beastlands. It's oh. listed in the bio. Here, I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, I think that would be a good thing to add. Joey, I, I bought something from the Joey, you can put people in the, in the, in the bottom, too? No, I'm animal. I think you said any living creature. Because you legit said you could throw me in there and make multiple I guess technically, yeah, I did that, yeah. Alright, so, I got to know what now. I'm going to head back into the village. Okay, now where? The blacksmith. Go to the blacksmith! Well, oh, shit, okay, you don't ask us, we're all here. Yeah, three fuckers at the blacksmith. Hey, move aside, I got an important mission to do. We're all <laughs> Matt, the blacksmith says, hold on already, damn, I've three people in my store and I'm still working. I'm the smallest, so I should get the most attention. I have a cat on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the one that shuts up first, which would be that one. I was here first, though. But you said you had, you talked. I had more gold than him. All right, so he finishes beating on this piece of steel, takes the sword that he's worked on, sticks it in the oil, and walks away. Walks up to Alex. Okay, I'm going to roll to see if my communicator thing even works. Twenty. <laughs> I would I would say it works fluently. It's working just fine now. Good. So, oh fuck! I just realized something. Um, I have no idea why we're here. Yeah, you never you forgot to remind us what we were doing. We were, we were sent here by an old man to uh, get some blueprints about the castle. Hey, okay. by a wise man. Okay then. Uh, hey, we were sent here by some old weird dude in a castle. Telling us to pick up some sort of blueprints. Does that make any sense, sir? Uh, yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. The wise old man from Castle Town sent you here. That is fine. I can give them to you, but I need some help. I need you to um. I need some help. That's now you just talk about. What What do you need help with? Mm. You, you don't know. No, I'm, I'm trying to take what you just said and actually turn it into something I could say here because you didn't say what I was saying. Are, are, well, you said I need some help. I'm like, well, what do you need help with, Tom, sir? I need help with my hey, house. Hey, uh, the, 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 the bacon chips. The bacon chips. Okay, you can take Vernon's cows. I trick them. I have fish. Fish to them. Oh, and to those who didn't hear my axolotl well die. I think that was, uh, I don't know what I told you about that. All right, so I need y'all. Um, we yeah. recently had. Uh, oh, we have to get this speech It's not there, right? Has anybody tried the new place underdogs? They opened up with a hooter for it. Nah, no. Nah. It's a bar. What's the use? A bar. I'm a bar. I know Bruno.
All right, welcome everybody to the Cream of Iron. Thing. Why are you loving that thing? Huh? Yeah. 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 I need to make it smaller, but I need to do it. Huh? Like, 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 you just paste an image on it? Mm. Uh, sir, oh, I need to do not. Wow. This is a terrible okay. 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 So, welcome to the Creative Iron um, um, campaign. So, let me. Another campaign within a campaign? Oh, uh, not campaign, but uh, you know. Uh, Let's just go correctly. But it's not as big as it is, so. Don't know why it's still. I'm not really going to have to turn the red switch that pinky down because I'm going to just grab the whole thing. I don't want to have to do it. Yeah, no, it, it should be good like that. Yeah. You would think so, but uh, no, you, you saw it over here. I think the paint is not working. It's still not right. Not the exit image. Oh. Why is it this bad? That's a good question. Like, I literally can't even. This is what I'm seeing. That's what I see. That's what it is showing. I don't know why it is what it's showing. I do not know why it is showing. Well, we're going to have to edit this and have to use Photoshop. Yes. I'll just drag it over here and put it there. Fix it in there. Put it in there. Alright, just going to easy as zoom tool. Alright, so let's just open this area. Alright, people. That just means we're going to have to see that screen up there for now. Yeah, but that don't really matter. Alright, so. Welcome to the Creative Iron. The, the blacksmith says, what I need y'all to do, or before I can really give you any of that, I need y'all to help us find these uh, people. They've been kidnapped. A bunch of women and children. Mm -hmm. They went out to the desert into a uh, temple. Oh, I think it's number three. In the temple. I need y'all to go and rescue these people. As many of them as you can, and kill the cults. Who are they worshipping? They are worshipping, um... Cult of Eden. Um, uh, they are worshipping the, um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know who they're worshipping. It doesn't fucking so, say who they're worshipping. No, it does. I just haven't seen it. It's just, I know it's in there. The blacksmith does not know. Um, he just says, I don't know. We just need you to go and save the people and kill them all. Mm, very well. But if I find out if there's any trickery involved in this quest, I shall be back to claim your head. Have you not realized around the village that we are clearly missing a bunch of people? There's been a lot of murder. No, the only place I've been is here in the church. What? I'm still having your stuff. But there's a whole bunch of stuff. We just got robbed, pretty much, and they took all of our women and children. Uh, except for the floor. I will save the women and children, but again, I say if there's trickery involved, there will be consequences. Well, then, Nomen put me down, because after that, if you don't kill them, we're all going to die anyway. I, well... So, I go walking in that general direction, I guess. Uh, I join. Wait a minute, wasn't there something that one of us needed to do in there? Uh, oh yeah. Noah, your turn. You're in the blacksmith. Okay. I want to blacksmith. What would you like, kind sir? Alright. Bring it to gold. I have what? Just please give me gold. <laughs> you know what's gonna be funny? I <laughs> hold up an unfinished dagger since I wasn't asking. <laughs> I reach into the magic bio. Little the uh the call the bottle. It the bottle. Bottle. The bottle. I reach into the bottle, pull out the giant cat guy. It's about let's say about six feet tall. Sure. Mm -hmm. Six feet tall and really heavy. Kind of just falls. Barely yeah. pick it up and manage to get it onto the desk. And then I hand him uh the thread and twine made out of rose thorns. Yep. And I look him down the eye and say, I need you to turn this into a bat. A club. Club. club would be the proper word, but club, yeah. it should be noted. How much you want to bet he's about to say, I'd take this to the town florist. <laughs> blacksmiths don't typically work with plants. <laughs> as funny as that would be, unfortunately that's not what's going on. Oh, wow. I don't know if I can make it into a good bat, but I can definitely build you a hilt that will definitely work. What would you like out of? Would you like leather, metal, skin? 
hamburger. What was your last yeah. part? Skin? Skin. Okay. He grabs Matthew and peeled off a piece of his skin. Hey, I went with him. I'm not here. Yeah. What do you the blacksmith too? No, nope, I left with him. Yeah, he said. I left him with him. No skin it is. He goes to the back, he pulls up a body. But yeah, we didn't have room in the cemetery, so we're just using their bodies for everything. Oh, and, right and a lot of the cemeteries use up a lot of unnecessary space. I'd use most of that space actually for growing plants. Why not just grow plants? Did you know that the body of the can actually bring more nutrients into the jungle and slash plants and other animals like that? Yeah, but we've got to use it for other things as well. So he takes a piece of skin off and he starts to uh, leatherize it. Yes. I will have it back and ready within the week. Oh, By the time you're done with the cultist, it will probably be ready. I just remember Dr. T. Where they're just sitting there peeling a big old hunk of skin right off Carl, and he's sitting there screaming like, "Where did you have that written down?" I said, "Hold on, let me check." And Carl's just screaming, and they're like, "Oh no, wait, no, no, I wrote it on a different piece." And then he goes and peels another hunk of skin off Carl. All right, right sit down. All right, no, so he, he started your kill, and he'll be done by the time we're done with this with this uh, little uh, temple, this little dungeon. Little, little. Bitch, please, that is not little. That's gonna take us all session. Uh, possibly, yes. Hey, no one did you any potion. No one has been hurt. <laughs> I mean, oh, we're going to do this. I'm going to use my own post. I'm treacherous. All right, so no, do you follow the party after that? Or are you yeah, going to stay? Anywhere else, yeah. I mean, you couldn't just stay in town and you know, miss out on the loot. Sorry, loot. Possible loot. Possible loot. Wait, no, he already said loot. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... Actually, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, you want to enter this temple. Okay. I'm going to use this cat as a headrest now. Okay, that's fine. I mean, she probably does not care. All right, so y'all get to the temple. Y'all see the map on, up on the screen. I need to actually put in my drawing tab. I guess, hey, Matt, I need to draw him. Sure, off my desk. It's up on my, um, it's, uh, Underneath my monitor to the left, between my two monitors, pretty much. It's sitting on a little thingy. Yeah. He's gonna come back with the dead, bro. I just can't. I hope he does. There is not any in this house. Because then I can just slap Cassie with it. There is not any in this house. Are you sure? No! Lost two on the planet, right? Yeah. <laughs> also, you know, I need all my knives. I just. Oh my. Charlie, I think you just unplugged something. Why? Wow. Does it just have the. This thing just unplugged something? Oh, no, it had a. Uh, it had the uh, new things had been plugged in. Are there any other dice? Okay. Yeah. The only one you guys see? Okay. Let me check out. Make sure. Lord Odeklot. Yeah, that's all of them. Uh, Alright. Yeah, chocolate. I changed to the server. What? My name is Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys were definitely maxing out that microphone earlier, by the way. Because if just me talking raises it that much in the levels, oh, yeah. I, I can only imagine how much you guys yelling at it. Oh, oh yeah. To the other screen. Yeah. yeah. To make it show. Oh. Well, it's a good photo job. Oh. Shut up, Bob. Yeah. All right. So I guess we're at one. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'll get to the temple. Um, get my drawing tablet. Okay. I'm going to go in first with my shield raised up and hold my mace in my offhand. And I'm going to start saying, oh, hail foul, foul fiends. Where are the women and children? You know, we burst in the door, I guess. And then there's no one there. I'm still gonna do it anyway, even if there is one. If, if, even if there's two in there, I walk in there smoking pot. I mean, that's the whole point of my character, going the place in Warlock. I roll to clock right, you so, on the head. Alright, so this is the uh, description of the chapel. Chapel, uh, the division entering primitive, um, alright, so the ancient, uh, Karnic, um, dungeon, although its pathway has been cleared by the cultists, the sandstone walls and floor have crumbled, and ten foot high ceilings in its passageway have started to buckle under the earth above its weight. The doors, um, Many of the doors in the complex are made of solid two-inch thick stone slabs set on a rotating stone hinge at their center. Made it on one hinge, Matthew. Made one really big hinge. Um, rotating stone at the center. Each of the doors have an AC of 17 with 50 HP, 50 hit points, and immunity to poison and psychic damage. Locks set into the frame and wall stop doors from rotating when locked. A creature can use its action to make a DC of 12 strength athletics check to see if it can break the door open. Um, light. Um... Uh, it's pretty much it's it's dim lighting but not poor lighting. And then sounds and smells uh smells of mold, mildew, rot, and additional um distinct smells of cast iron. You hear water drips constantly falling, and there is a breeze blowing through this tunnel. Okay, so y'all are actually out the door outside still. Okay, okay. I start smoking pot. Okay, Matthew, you're getting played. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna raise my shield here in, in a defensive stance, hold my mace in the offhand, and try and break open the door, I guess. And if I succeed, I, I'm gonna say my little spiel about. Hail foul fiends, where are the kidnapped women and children and shit? Alright, so he's trying to break the door down. Yeah, so okay. what do I need to do? Uh, you roll a, um... Strength? A strength check of 17 or higher, and you have to do 50 damage to break the lock. Or if you have any kind of lock-picking skills, it's for sure. Yeah, wrong character, dipshit. Wrong that's, character! That's only if you're breaking it by hand, by the way. Good question. Does, uh... Mm. Does just say a thief's tools count? Hey. Yeah. The thief's tools hey, dipshit. Mm. That one? Huh? You break one. your Nat Natural one? You punch it, and you break your fingers! Potion might be going very well. I'll need it. How much? Wait, so you know what you can't use? No. 
I don't know. Sorry, calls. Is that what you got? I don't know. You don't need to get those emails. I'm, I'm just. Sure. It hurts. That's it, pretty much. Yeah. I'm right. gonna so I'm gonna. Hurts. You have a you have a disadvantage on using two handed weapons. That's good. I don't have. And right. anything used with that hand until you heal it. Okay. Well, magic. Alrighty. I'll try to unlock it. I'll be for the add on. Wouldn't it be sleight of hand for lock picking? Um, yes. Yeah, sleight right. of hand. How high do I have it? I have it. Seventeen. I got a six plus a two. I got sixteen. You get close, you hear it click, and your pick just doesn't. It broke. It doesn't break. It's it it Skyrim. Y'all want me to try again? Maybe keep spending time on this, or someone else can just blow it up or something. Uh, I don't think anyone has to, to do straight in one attack. I mean, I can say fireball. Can you insects in there to unlock it? An idea. Or jam the lock forever because they're dumbass bugs. No, he can control the bugs. But if they die in there, he can't control dead corpses. I have to find an insect that is small enough to go. Just try and pick the lock again. I mean, while he's thinking, he could be picking. It doesn't matter. Okay, I got a 19. As soon as you go, it's up to your click. In the door. Like, I know what it is! Click! And the door slowly starts open. like, damn it. Alright, no, what, what, what were you gonna say? Um, never mind! It gets, doesn't matter! Good seer! Okay. I'm kind of curious what you would have chosen. Okay, now I'm going to push past Matthew again with the shield up and say, Hail foul fiends! Where are the face. kidnapped women and children? I'm still You hear nothing, no one hears you. I'm following him, oh. smoke and possible. Still get a blaze, and Noah is, um. Alex, it's too dark in here, I can't hear you! Fart, let me know you're nearby! <laughs> All you hear now is the noise of vines, other uh, bushes and stuff, because it's, it's a fallen part ruin. Oh, and spiders. I thought you said it was a sandstone ruin. It is, but I mean, it's called Vines it's and spiders, huh? Spiders and what, what else would be enough? Communicate with the animals! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The animals, so you do. What are the animals saying? Possibly rats. The animals are saying bye. Yeah, snakes for sure, scorpions. What are the insects saying? Um, what are the animals? They open the door, they're letting all the good air out. Close the door, you're letting all the stink out. Guys, I think we need to close the door. You close that door, I close your face. Does no one ever, ever else get the Cleveland show reference? Okay. No, but that wasn't a Cleveland show. That was a family guy. Really? Cleveland show was later. Oh, oh, I got, I and also, that was Quagmire. I thought it was Cleveland. That's right. Oh, you let your stick out. I know something else I could have done. I could have just froze the hinges and then it would also did fireball the damn thing. Yeah. It's only resistant. By the way, that's the main of a mocking you can do it. Let's not discuss that again. It's six thanks for you guys. All right, how about we continue on? All right, so y'all enter the first room. Area one, the stairs leading from the from outside the stand 30 feet down below the ruins of the struggle. That's why I said there's vines and stuff here underground. Does that make sense? Would that be found in like a pyramid? No, uh, more like roots. Sure. I mean, there are cacti on top. Uh, and possibly some dirty trees. If there's it, any water, there's definitely cacti roots. Oh. Yes. So there's water. So it's dripping. You're underneath, you're underneath the water bit. Mm -hmm. Or around it. Um, okay. Describe, okay. bitch pudding. Please describe. After descending the stone steps, you set you set foot in a large chamber with masonry walls past two with past two wide pillars that hold a 15-foot high ceiling. A wall stands a wide stone Whatever that's a B A I S base die, D I A S. Yeah, that's die. Okay, dais. Yes, dais. At the center of the dais is a pedestal upon which a glowing red gem, the size of a horse's head, rests. Um, the area description is um beyond the uh, pair of burning bazaars at the base of the stairs lies a, a long room, thirty-five feet deep, twenty feet wide, uh, some fifteen feet um high, held up with uh three thick columns, with stair shapes, star shapes, splinters, a two-foot high stone dais. Covered much of the left side of the room. Okay, then. So I'm going to use my. Uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm curious if this is going to work. So I'm going to go up to that big red gem sitting there on that on that pedestal. Okay. And uh, I'm going to try and use my Shen state here, or divine sense basically, to determine whether or not this gem is evil or good or whatever the deal is with it. Do you have to touch it? No. Oh, you should just look at it. Well, I got to get close enough to it. Oh, okay. That's why I said I got to go up there. So I'm, I'm going up there. Yeah, I'm still maintaining my guard, I might add. So I'm going up there. Party's here, and then Alex will be going on the screen right here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, you said you don't touch it, right? Yeah, I'm not touching it. Okay, I'll just need to make sure on every little detail. Okay, so how does this work exactly? How well, basically, uh, the Shen State, or Divine Sense, allows me to detect the alignment of anything, like, within 60 feet. So... It is neutral alignment. So it is a neutrally, it's not alive or anything? No. It is just a stone. A, a big red gem. It's a ruby, to be more precise. A big ruby. Yeah. Well, my first thing is, well, we already have some loot here. This large, unguarded rock. How should we cart it back? We so have, we have the strong society. He said only living things. Yeah. Can we shove into my little portal thing? No. The portal thing, what? I think I jump into when I think I think maybe. No, it's because that's only... Yeah. I vote the strongest person picks it up. That would be me. Okay. Pick it up so we can drag it back to the top. Oh, you uh, did that! Sure. I mean, I got a strength rating of 16. I got 13. No, how, much, how much strength you got? How much I strength? Yeah. Wait, see, how much strength do you got? 
Might as well go ask some goblins to do something. Oh, shut up, Dave. So, he's got a 10. 13. Um, okay, you're oh, 14. Thank you very much. Really? Okay, then. Bastard. Okay, so, here, so oh, I'm, I'm looking at it and I say, you know, it seems a little weird to me that this thing is just sitting here in the middle of a big empty room, unguarded, right at the entrance. Here you go, there's a praying altar. Well, usually praying altars ain't made out of Ruby. valuable rubies. But these are cultists. They I, I, don't, I don't know that. Okay. Maybe they can pull it up. I, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not actually very familiar with the practices of cultists, as in Jackson Air is not familiar with cultist practices. I said we did go, like, how far down did we go under? 30 feet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, so remember, we're down. I'm it's, confused it's, here. So you said we went down 30 feet. Yes, we went down 30 feet, then we walked up here and went down to the stairs. That's how I see it. Yeah, 30 feet down below the um, ruins. So it means you went down. Oh, okay. 30 30 feet. Okay. Or okay. underground so, 30 feet. No, okay, yeah, that, that clarifies. Um... Just really steep stairs, I guess. Does anyone here know how to check for traps? I can do magic. Yep. That's a magic detection. Okay. Uh, both of you, check for traps, but don't touch it. That's a magic detection. It's magic as hell. It's it, magic as hell. Magic as hell. It's magic as all hell. Okay. What about our traps? Yeah, find traps. You see the presence of any trap within a range that's within line of sight. Okay. 120 feet. Do you have to roll for that or not? Wouldn't that's your bottle happened. be acting up? Yes, his bottle would be acting yeah, up. Yeah, it would be acting up. You don't have any animals in it. Right. Well, he doesn't. I roll a seven. Um, there's no traps you can detect. Are um, you sure? Well, I won't say in plus one. You, you can do it again. Yeah, I'm just rise again. It's not like we're under right. pressure. Okay, all right. Gay looking. Uh, I mean, 13 no plus... Children. Probably raping the women. 13 plus Arcana. 9. So that's 22. You still see no traps. Cool. There are no traps in the room. You can confirm and guarantee. Okay. I take right. my mace, reach out, just poke it a Nothing. little bit. Nothing at all. I use Unseen Servants to try to pick it up and see what happens. Too heavy for the Unseen Servants anyway. Okay. Oh, it's just a pair of hands anyway. Yeah. Okay. Is she dead near us? Um, not in this. No, I get your bugs to try to mess with it. Oh, well, I was gonna say, I can't. No, no, no. Okay, this is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I said, this is stupid. Hold on. I reach out and try and pick it up. Okay. Okay. Roll a uh strength. No. No. Fuck. I already know what this one. That's why I try to get him to use his bugs. My thing isn't living. It's a pair of hands. Roll two d four together. And tell me to not. I try to warn you. No, yes, it is okay. Two. He's on my shoulder. Okay. Do you need a vial? Oh, he's gonna need a Do I still have that? Four. four. Yeah, I'll do it again with Barrett. Okay. Six. The creature touch, touches it. The creature's touch instantly corrodes non magical ferrous um, metal objects. If the object isn't being worn or carried, the touch, the, the touch destroys a one point cube of it. If the object is being worn or carried, the creature holding the holding or wearing the object can make a dexterity save during a uh, game. Oh, you're just destroying my shield. No. Anything you touch now destroys. I'm sorry, what? So anything you say, if there's a magic weapon right here, you gotta touch it, it's gone. Well, hold on, I'm sorry. So the creature's touch instantly corrodes non-magical ferrous metal objects. Oh, so the shield metal and non-magical, and made of iron. So the save... It is actually metal, yeah. Is it iron, because it's ferrous. What's it made of? Well, uh, it doesn't specify, but I mean, I, I fucking drew it. It's grayish. It's made of metal. Oh, I lost my shield. Shield damaged or next to the shield. I got a one-foot cube of it. So now he's going to touch it. He can't touch silver now, pretty much. I can't no. touch silver. You can't touch anything iron or steel. Oh. Okay. So anything pretty much magnetic. So say someone's wearing a uh, armor, he can legit touch it. And then and if it's not silver, they'll take damage. Or they will lose all their armor. No, their armor will just start breaking. Yeah, so they won't and have it only last for a little bit of time. I'm like, well, okay, that's not good as my shield breaks, but I'm like, nothing else is happening. I suggest we carry this back to uh, back does town he... and swirl it away where it can't be hurt. Because he wasn't, he didn't stop touching me. I know. Actually, no, no. I have a better idea. I say we carry this outside and we bury it. All right, everybody roll for acrobatics to make sure they don't bump into it. Uh, 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 D20? I have a dexterity. Yeah, have acrobatics. I'm sorry, bump into what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm like, what? It out. Charlie, what? A D20 for acrobatics, Charlie. Why would they do that? Because they're going out to help bury it, right? I have a 15. 15! All they gotta do is dig a fucking hole! Charlie, yeah, they're out there. So I am more than a big hole. I have to because my dexterity is automatically 20. I got 15. I touch it. Would you roll? A 15. Yeah, I'll take it. Roll 2d4. 2d4. Oh my god. Come on, man. This gym is like the whole highlight of this dungeon for me. So well, I mean, why is it the highlight for you? Because it's my favorite part. But because you get to throw curses at us. Four. Only at me. Four. four. That the first roller, is that the right? Yeah, total of four. Four. Um, greatest can become translucent and slimy. The creature uh, can't regain hit points unless it's underwater. When the creature is outside of body water, it takes two, um, one d4 acid damage every ten minutes unless moisture is applied to the skin. Oh my That's fucking god, we're in the middle of a desert! <laughs> I have a water skin. Just a little drop of it. Technically right. Okay. Well, uh, does it ever end? A couple of hours or so. Yeah. If I turn into a mist skin and then turn back, would I be normal? No. Does it reverts? You can't even turn into mist skin right now. Yeah. Because you're literally turned into slime right now. He's cursed. You're a slime monster. Yeah. For how long? Um, so, oh, cool. yeah. I, I put it in the hole and everything. Okay. So that we can come back for it after we're finished here and it won't burden us. At least in the temple. Okay, now everyone has to make dexterity going down because of all the slime. 
No. No, 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 you're not leaving a trail. Oh, no, no, you're not leaving a trail. You didn't just get cream pie, I know. I'm just with you. Ow, my leg! Okay. Where you go? Bathroom? So, uh... Just take the whole thing to fake one, okay? I guess uh, I'll start going down the uh, steps again. And return to the main room or where at? That that room we were just in. Number one, okay. And I'll wait for the others to rejoin us. Uh, rejoin me. I've, I've decided not to touch my pack because I might get my pot lid with slime. Okay, so remember how I said there was and a trap on the way? Yeah. There is one trap. You should have told us you got a like a 23. Alright, so that you detect a trap. Now I'm drawn. Probably none of y'all know how to activate it and y'all get to activate it. Hmm. So what is it? Y'all probably won't ever activate it. What is it though? Y'all probably won't ever activate it. So probably the regular the spell cast over. So, uh, I wait for everyone at the bottom of, at the top of those stairs up there. Uh, you know, at the right side of that first room we entered. Going down to number two? Yeah, I wait for them at that, at those stairs. And I follow him. Oh. He follows. What's going on? We're all heading back into the thing after we buried the, uh, the room. Yeah. Oh, By the way, that room's worth a lot of money. Yeah, it's worth a lot of money, yeah, but there's no sense in us trying to I carry just, it around yeah, while doing heroic deeds. I just have some I have, because, you see, here's my logic. If we go down that, down there and we start fighting, some cultists could go running past us, grab the ruby, and be out of there. I have... I us for the same thing. I have the bottle! Yeah, but you can't put the ruby in. I, right, I just thought about something. Yeah. If we give it to a trader, he touches it, he gets something. Hey, he we can sell, resell it. Hey, he may not know it. There's no telling. Yeah, we said down. He gives us the mic, but we give it to him. He As a matter of fact, I'm more than likely going to say, hey, you might want to use gloves. Why? Because if it's something that has to him, we can just take it, sell it to another one, at a whole different place. Even with gloves, it'll still curse him. That's not bad? No, no, no. no, no. My like guy's not going to be dishonest like that. That's not true. Well, so, anyway, I, I literally, so this is how, how you're supposed to be. supposed to take, like, stick, roll it onto a carpet or something, carry it. Put it down and just sell the carpet with it. I mean, my I'm plan is to put it on. So you also put it in a bag. Okay, so. You can't touch it. Okay, so. Uh, arguing about the genocide. Yeah, so, hey, everybody gets back. Uh, I say, okay. He's still on my shoulder. He didn't say she wasn't, so yes. So she slammed him. Yeah. Come on, y'all. The genocide dance. All right, so we're going down to number two, right? Uh, yes. I, I, I lead first, obviously, but my shield has a big hole in it, so. I have cat balls and protection. I'm aware. I am a stone oh. slime. I am a high as hell slime. Yeah, so. I, I lead down the stairs. I'm still holding my mace ready to attack and everything as we're going down the stairs and everything into the darkness. Alright, so enter area number two. Area number two, um, called Dimension Train is a 50 foot, um, 50 feet deep and 35 feet wide. Um, the southern part of the room has a 15 foot high ceiling, but the southern part ceilings are 20 feet high. Hold on, I'm gonna stop you right there. Are there any minions in there? Okay, all right. Are there any cultists or anything in there? Yes, there is. Is there? I don't know yet. Fuck Charlie! <laughs> Alright, continue to read. Um, Alright, and up by four two foot diameter column with stair shapes in its uh, breaches, breaches four stone benches, giving the cultists a place to sit during their uh, rituals. Blood fact. The blood of the cultists' young captive captains is torn from their skirts and poured into a large basin, one against the western wall and another against or atop a wide circular um, ice at the south end of the area. Some of the blood is fresh, recently collected by the cultist's current captives, but much of the blood is old and future. Soft reddish mold grows along the sides of this of these basins. Uh, there are blood stains all over the floors and um lots of boxes. Lots and lots of boxes. Okay then. Are there any enemies in the room? Because it didn't never said there was. Said there's a place for them to sit, but no enemies. The cell door in the western wall is locked using a lever in, uh... Okay, when you say west... There's no, there's no one in west of this one. North is up where one is, two is down. South. So west is that two, number two. Yeah. Okay, so there's a locked door there, and um, there's no enemies in this room currently. Okay, so I say this. Okay, well, if this is if, if this blood is fresh, from the looks of it, it looks like it, um, they got to have them close by. So if there are any survivors, the first thing we ought to do is secure them. So I'd say we should probably check the doors closest to the pool. Why don't you try to do a little bit of lock picking on that do that locked door over there? And uh, why don't you take a look at that mold or whatever that's growing around the, the pools of blood? Because you know that might tell us some information on this. And Let me then... drop the door a little bit more. Okay. So stone door, no one like you the door. This one has a um a stone knob to the door as well. And no more. Don't get that knob. No touching the numbers. There's also 11 inches. So am I able to unlock it? Lock pick it? I hope you're smart enough to lock pick it. Let's see. I got 20. You realize that the lever next to the door unlocks the door. And then I'd like to use fast magic. Oh, you're taking it. What? You're almost just got like Igor Jenkins in this place and just barging in. 
Uh, yeah. they might kill the captains. Okay. Oh, we're doing a rescue people. mission? Well, yeah, we're, what are we, what are we the good guys. I have yeah. fast magic detection. Let's we'll see if there's any magic in number two. Oh, uh, yeah. Number well, two, no. Besides, we're also getting a big fuck ass ruby. Well, the door's open just now. Okay, then. I don't really have any perks. So, so here, I'm going to say this. Okay. I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna lead the way into into this corridor here. You need to you need to keep an eye on this room to make sure we don't get circled in from behind. And I'll leave you to come in and back me up here. All right, so we're entering three, by the way. Yes, we're entering into three because we believe the survivor any survivors may still be in those two chambers. Because you know why the hell would you drag the body all the way down that massive corridor just to sacrifice? All right, so the door opens and I'm gonna read this immediately because y'all kind of missed it. Okay. Um, immediately you three went there. The stench of death fills your nostrils. In the dark, you can see two pairs of glowing eyes and a low brow matches their hair. Quick question. Can anyone else here see in the dark besides me? Uh, magical and not magical. Actually, hold on. I dark can't. vision, 60 feet. No, can you? Because if you were going to be back up and you can't see, that would not be a good idea. Because uh, I got 120 feet of magical and not magical sight. Uh, I'm going to use Gen Sense to determine the alignment and intentions of the creature. It might not be a creature yet. Well, that's up for the DM. I do not have dark vision. So in other words, no one should stay at three in order. Ah, uh, yes. Our low health character. Let's leave him out of there alone. I mean, he's yeah, I got all his Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've only got 63 health. How much do you have, Noah? For what? Uh, health. Oh, I have uh, 129. You have more health than everyone. Yes, that is up. Why, are you sure you're looking at health? Yeah. Hit points. I'm going to I don't have any money. Okay. And you say he's the lowest. He's the most. And I'm also the weakest. Like, strength-wise. You can just, like, Flick me and I take damage. I only got 87. I only got 63. Your claws are twitching. Are you that much in deep sleep? She's fine. Wait, what? What? Wait, look at her front claws. Like, what? Yeah, I saw that. No, he, I, he said she's... I have, I have stuffness between her toe beams. All right, so... <laughs> so uh, out. He pulled you out. 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 Okay, out. Well, you want to know the alignment? They, um, they are evil. Okay, I got no problems about killing them now. All right, so is uh, is Noah still going with you or me? So who, who all can see in the dark? I can't. Me and him is going in there. All right, okay. y'all can see that it is two ghouls. Chewing on rotten bodies. Okay. Okay, so I immediately now believe, well, there's no way in hell they're going to have any living bodies in there, so can we just shut the door on them? I can use yes, fireball to take them out. And we'll, what why bother? Off. We can just slam the door in their might, face. There might be loot in there. We can't see the whole room. We could just see where they're at. There's no use. We're looking for survivors, remember? We already got the big fuck-ass ruby. There might be a cage in there. You're, you're digging for shit here. No. He's yeah. digging all right. I'm going to slam the door. What door? There's no door. See, the, the door you picked the lock to. Well, I'm going to put the lever back on. There's three A and then three B. Yep, shit. The door you had the to pick the lock to. Yeah. Exactly. Right, so, so, Alex shuts the door. You just push the lever up. The door closes slowly and the ghouls go back to eating their flesh. Oh, that's fine. Yep. As the door is closing, y'all hear two cultists come in. They go up to the altar on the pedestal circle and they start praying quietly. I'm sorry, did you say cultists. they came in what room? The room you're in, to number two. And uh, they go. Okay. So, as soon as, are they, did, did they notice us? Not yet. Okay. They go over here yeah. and do this area. Yeah. That's where they go. Okay. So, uh, as soon as they do that, I reach over and grab him on the back and I point over at him. And then I motion for him to go and cover their escape. You know, keep them from going up the stairs. And then I motion to him and point over to the stairwell, stairwell that goes back down. I don't want them telling your buddies they're in here. But, yeah. I guess where he points that. Yeah. So you cut off, you go and block it, block the escape there. Now it goes and blocks the escape at the other exit. The only way out is for the ghouls. And then I say, I'm trying to get rid of it. So I need to actually create a separate layer. So in other words, we're blocking off. We're blocking off their escapes. Yeah, the way to one and the way to four. Yeah, block these eyes closed. Yeah, and if we close the door to three, why would they want to go in there anyway? They're ghouls. Matthew's blocking off the top, right? Yeah. Noah's blocking off over here, right? Yeah, he's guarding there. This is here. So I'm going to shout, we got cultists in. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to just not appear in boobs. You sure? I was going to. I shout. Hell, please. Sur surrender and tell us the location of the captives. The location of the captives? They are. Hey, has anybody had a new potion? No. no. This is the first time. Oh, we need to get a potion. No, we don't. We have, I have healing touch. How do you use potion? I just haven't taken anything. Yeah. Look how beautiful they are. Well, they are beautiful, but we still don't need to use potion. Use potion. No. So, the cultists, they stand up and they say, do you want to know where, where, we, where we're keeping everybody at? Well, if you go down this hallway over there past your friend. I'm getting impatient. Get to the point. Take a left by the fire, and we'll see how we'll see if we can find them. I roll for intimidation. 
charisma is my highest skill. I got a plus in that. The plus ten intimidation. I only have a plus in that. Oh, he rolled that twenty. Oh my god! Okay, I rolled thirty. I loom over them, holding my mace menacingly, my eyes almost glowing with anger at them, and I say, "Now tell me if you're telling the truth." <laughs> I just rolled a 30, goddammit. 30. No, it's a nat 20, so it doesn't matter. No, a natural 20 plus 10. A nat 20 makes it always a guaranteed go, no matter what the number ends up being in the end. Um, You grab the one cultist, the other cultist kind of just falls back, he falls into the hole of blood. By the way, you just do both of these. Oh, and the goal eating dead body. Oh, and you're on my shoulder, and I am out slime. Oh, yeah, he's off the journey. So I'm just saving slime? Yeah, he's he's a flying monster. He's probably taking one of his slime bones. Well, you know, you know, Matthew. Sorry, hold on. Charlie, do something wrong with that Mario statue? Well, um, other than the egg. Oh, that's not egg. Wait, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Wait, what? Let me do that. Charlie, do something wrong with that? She can make potions that can cure effects, right? Like stuff like that. Can she cure my curse with a potion? What would I be thinking? I don't know. Typically, yes. I think the potion does not fail for her. Uh, okay. Can cure my... okay. okay. Enough. Enough arguing here. So. What? What the fuck happens to the cultists? Are they literally pissing their panties? Yes. One of them falls into the to the circular pool of blood, hey, and the other one is like, um, um. Yes, I did not tell you the truth. I lied to you. Don't go left. You go left. You'll just find more of us. But you might. That's also where we have all of our storage. Is all of our storage. But um, that's not where we keep the, ca- the captives. We keep captives close to the to the um to the demon. Well, question: Where are we even at? Because I see a whole bunch of red number two. Here. Yeah, basically, we're blocking up all Matthew's of us. blocking that stairway back to number one. Noah's blocking the stairway and making sure that nobody comes up those stairs without us knowing. And I'm standing right there, yelling at those two dipshits who are right there by that big pool of blood. I have a question. What? Yeah. How the fuck is Matthew blocking the stairs when he's just a pile of fucking goo? I'm he's a, not a pile. He's, skin is good. It, he's like a glass lizard. How the fuck is he blocking stairs when all he has to do is walk over his fucking ass? It could also just run I, through him. My point is exactly what the fuck is he doing? I asked. He's, he's a pile of goop. Whoa, 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 He's not a pile of goop. He's no. But I can still. According to the way that he was described, he basically became a skinless amphibian. That's what I'm he's he like can't a goop. be walked right through. That's not how amphibians work. No, no, no. no. He's like a goo monster from, uh, I, from the monster high school. I asked him to pat on my shoulder to. Pull yeah, he's literally just a, a human form of goo, pretty much. He literally can literally run through. What does it matter? He's not a pile of goop. So he will hit him if they try and get too close to the goo. What do you mean? So, Charlie. So, I, 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 yeah, we must not be having this conversation in front of the cultists since we've got a big fuck ass Ruby. Do you have a talk to him about it? What's the talk to you? It's Android. Uh, go look right beside the bed. I have a charger there that's for my uh Alex. Well, well it's, the type, it's the same charger that uh Alex has for his switch. Well, well, I'm I asked Casey or the cat on my shoulder. Coach, you can't do the switch. Well, that's right. Well, I'm gonna ask the cat on my shoulder to heal me from my curse. Matt, grab my headphones out of my hat. It's the same kind that charge my headphones. And then, oh, yeah. No, yeah, but my headphones are wireless charging, so I'll just put them on the wireless charger, the red thing. Anyway. The same, the same thing that will, that will go into the port on it. So, yeah. so, so right there beside my side of the bed, done it. Right there on my side of the bed, there's a port yeah, right there in front of my side. It's taxi, I know they are. Okay, it's wide. It's, well, I think it's wide. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that one. Well, I'm there's only one the kind of privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, okay. the fuck next here are you? Because they're standing in slime. So, um, greater restoration will cure his effect. Wait, let me cure him. I'll also cure Alex. Let me cure everybody! Let me just jizz all over him and now I'll fucking cure him. Roll a d20. How do you jizz? Are you a dick girl or something? I got 14. You cured Matthew, but Alex is still corroding everything he rubs his um, hand on. Mm. Well, I jizzed all over Matthew and Matthew's normal again. You grab the cultist, Alex. Uh, yeah, I grabbed the cultist. So, his armor, or his, uh, his, his robes that were held together oh, by cast iron, right. melts away and all of his garments fall to the floor. Matthew, I jizzed on you and you're normal again. Okay, okay, so I guess his armor class is zero now, right? It is now, yes. Oh, well then good. Roll initiative, bitch. Why do we keep doing that there? Probably killing the killing them anyway. Well, the evil yeah. fucking cultists. No, but some cultists are really fucking fun. Yeah. But well, whenever they bring out the poison bullet. Well, these are definitely the fucking evil ones that we don't like, okay. and they got the big wait. valuable gem that you are here to pay attention wait, to. Wait, I'm gonna say this: one of them is in a pool of blood. Then the other one is in the hands. Well, we're gonna roll some initiative to clap some cheese. I mean, how many do we need? Well, right, we're clapping cheese. What happened to you, Pepper? Pepper? That's what I'm saying. Do we really need to? Cheese clapper, clap time, man. Good for the kids. Oh god. Yeah. We're... No, please. Noah. 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 Please don't talk about clapping. Okay, Robert, Robert, she's she's our, uh, cheek clapper. Five thousand. <laughs> Noah. I work in education. Please don't talk about clapping the cheeks of small children. No. Uh, no, please don't clap the cheeks of the small children. The small children are clapping. They're clapping each other. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Alex. I need you to help me. Well, if you want to build it or have any proof of it, then it's not illegal. <laughs> We're mind straining. Okay. All right. So I should have mentioned it because Alex wants to kill a cultist. I have, I have like, two cultists. Two cultists. Unless, unless the point of Wait a second. Wait a second. I can 
Oh, hold on, before, before we start fighting, before we all start rolling initiative, I wasn't actually thinking of anything sexual when I was making the cheap clap for 5,000. I was just picturing, like, this thing that looked like a uh, propeller hat, but it had, like, hands, and the hands would just get slapped across the face, a cheap slapper. Yeah. So it'd be just, like, kids getting bitch slapped by each other constantly over and over. I just fucking love how fucked up we all are. We, like, we're all just like, oh, he's talking about sex. We all think that's a fun boy. It's a fun boy for kids. Okay, look, 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 look laughing aside here. Okay. Oh, so, the cheap clap for 5,000. Given how I was using a silver mace and everything, my mace is just fine. My shield had been corroded partially and everything. Probably good. Well, I know what my shield's made of and everything. Uh, it looks like a cat turd. Where? Like behind you, behind your shirt. Over there? Yeah. If, I mean, it's still probably in here. Mace! He looks away. But, uh, anyway. So, before we roll initiative, I'm gonna reach over and touch the blood. Why the fuck is you Okay, you now have metallic blood on you because you make sure you may literally just dissolve. So, in other words, the pool of blood dissolves into thin air when I touch it? Yep. This is interesting. I can't get that. Yeah, it looks like an eight minutes. Okay, it's now, now, now both of these people have fear in them because he just touched blood and it evaporated. Wait a minute. Everyone has blood in them. Oh, shit. I mean, if he put, just stabs his hand in them, sure. I mean, if he goes this on top of the wash. Now, if you know that, then yeah, there's a problem. Then, All right, so you touch the blood, it's dissolved, and the culprits are like, so I've been playing with our giant ruby, clearly. I'm like, oh, you've noticed. Now I'm going to touch your blood. I'm announcing that I have to use the bathroom. Go to the, the I'm bathroom. announcing that you have now have a small penis. I have, I have now a have a small penis? Yes. Wait, so like, like, how did you have the penis in the I need the bathroom ready to turn because all the big flaming ones. Charlie, second to the bathroom. All right, have fun. Make sure to wipe extra thermal <laughs> matters. Hey, Charlie, did you get toilet paper in that bathroom? Yes, there is. Okay. And I sanitized it. I love how every scene is like, ah, oh, sanitize it! It's like a bonus because I've never cleaned that bathroom except for for D&D and Minecraft. Mm. That's the only time I ever clean it. Anyway, we don't use that bathroom. So, seeing as how I terrified these cultists to within an inch of their life through intimidation, one of them just stabbed himself right now. He dies. Oh my god. Which one of them? The one in the blood? The one you don't have your hands on. The one, the one in the blood. blood. Used yeah. to be blood. I would just go ahead and stab himself. He's like, I don't want to suffer this much. Okay, so I got the other guy around the neck. So we don't have to worry about him then. So I'm just gonna he fits on your face. He's gonna roll to remove his existence now. <laughs> All you gotta do is use your hand go. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna viciously kill a five. You know, just Now he might only dissolve a one meter area at a time, but I guess if you have it into a pulsing You mean vein, one foot. The one foot area at a time, but I guess if it's in a pulsing vein, eventually there's not enough blood to be pulsed. So in other words, right. he gets the neck, he's dead. He uh, he already fought and cheats it, there will eventually be no blood. Charlie, what do you roll? I'm nineteen. You stick your hand into him, Kali Basa, or however, whatever you put it. Just rip out his heart. No, you just stay there and hold it there for a second. All the time you see, he'll just turn yeah. white. Because there's no blood left in him because it's all pumped into your hand and it's all. Ah, well. Okay, then. I go loot the one that was he a full life. over. No, only he did. Yeah, he, well, he died. But I'm looting it. You just find some cast iron and bolts in a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, they're cultists. They never have to get rich. They're pretty iron cultists. Okay, then. So, uh, I guess we should keep moving. All right, so you're all leaving this room now. Yeah, so we I think I'm going to close the cult detained. Yeah, we 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 leave room number two. We've already looked in room number three and seen that it was just fucking ghouls in there. Wasn't that? Can't you just link that extra layer and make a new one? You know what? Please, I wish was uh, instead of erasing all that like that. Place called Pack. Yeah, they're still gonna uh, be there. It was open for like only two months. They're already closed. Yeah. Already? Yes. I mean, they were shit. I knew the we never ate there, but it was uh, it was pretty. Sick. It was a shit environment, but it actually had good food. Well, okay. I didn't have Pack Man. Fine.
Okay. Go towards the demon. It's a story behind that place. A rich fucking guy said, I'm gonna open up a restaurant. And he was like, and I'm it's... gonna make a shit ton of money because all these other restaurants are shutting down because of COVID. Right. And he was like, I'm gonna open up this restaurant. I have a lot of money. I'm gonna keep it open. He picked it. It didn't fucking work. He picked the fucking location stuff all over the wall. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so I guess you're heading down towards nine. I yeah. think a juice bottle left. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, we're going to try and go down those those uh, stairs behind us. Does anybody need a potion? No. no. They not everybody. I will drink a potion shit. because I'm thirsty. We haven't been <laughs> injured. Don't fuck shit. Anyway, so we start going down the stairs and everything. Towards the long string of nines heading towards ten. So, I guess we start looking in the side chambers as we go. Oh, can I have a can of the dry? Can of the dry? Yeah. Sure. Ginger ale. Who the yeah. fuck? Oh, there's also chocolate covered strawberries in there, too. Oh, uh, I'm good. I don't like strawberries. Yeah, I call those edible butt plugs. <laughs> Why is everything a butt plug to you? Because what are all these pinky as shit? <laughs> I don't want to ever shove a strawberry in my ass. I don't think I've, I mean, no. You have not been with anyone that intimate, then. How are you doing, Charlie? Why did you have to stop and say you don't think you've ever shoved a strawberry in your ass? You doing, Charlie? <laughs> you doing good? I'm about to Thank your you next over at house, dude. I appreciate it so much. Chelsea, you're about to have to go get the uh, grabbers and pull me out of his ass. I just want to say, I'm going to let your boyfriend know that you're cheating on him again. I didn't choose to. He just grabbed me and shoved me in. You know what happened? Last time he heard that you cheated on me. He's probably our one viewer. He didn't even try Anyway, to so I am sponsoring this video. Okay, so this is sponsored by Nintendo. Okay, that's my child. So, I bought that for Charlie, right? So we're my heading head down so the corridor towards Charlie. 10, and it's we're in 9. Right I brought it. Charlie looked at it as O, and then instantly he heard it to Elizabeth. So we're heading down those corridors. We're looking in the chambers to the left and right. We move down to, uh, okay. to see if the survivors are in there, being held prisoner. Okay. I am a trucker for Canada. <laughs> the screen crashed, so we're just going to record it. It's been recording anyway. We're going to restore it? No, we're just going to keep recording. Okay, so... Uh, are there anyone in any of these chambers leading um, up to hold a on. Um Okay. I, I also make sure to remind everyone, hey, they say there may be a demon at the end at somewhere around here. So, so you walk around the corner and there are two cultists. Yo, man, this demon in here is pretty whack, dude. In what room? No. Hold on. 
I'm trying to be serious on this. I gotta get to the. We're saving I'm trying to be serious too, dude. We're saving people. We're playing the game. How the fuck can you be serious while doing D and D? Bro, do you need right. me to fight somebody, bro? Bro, I can no. do it, bro. Now we got two cultists right there and those two red dots. And That's they are guarding. There's two dots. Fuck is that? It's your mom when she's Wait, not she on whatever. All right, she just made me take my hat off. I do not have off. Coming over this table. I hope you do come. Yeah. I think the cultists should Wait. attack us with advantage, Charlie. Wait a minute. That's hey, not me. Hey, that escalated very quickly. These two are safe. They did the friends, the lovers shit up in here. I mean, enemies, the lovers. You know you mean the enemies, the friends, the lovers. Not enemies, the lovers. Remember, a rape charge is less time than a murder charge. It's hey, called hate fucking. Just remember, if you take the prize, it's not right. I was just about to say, if you're going to make me come, at least touch my balls. <laughs> okay, so, all that... I want to touch more than that. Hey, Charlie. You put a finger up my ass and kick in your ass. Charlie. That's what Matt's for. No, you're supposed to be the one putting the finger up his Charlie. ass. Charlie. No. Oh, yes. What? Charlie. Yes. Oh, no. Both yes. Just attack what? with advantage. Go. They attack with advantage? Yes, they do attack with advantage now. Sure, why not? Because sure. we wasted the last 30 seconds with our chance to ambush them. Why not? I mean, yeah, y'all we are turning the corner and there's two cultists right there. Um yeah. keep reading. Wait, there's more? There's more to read. So uh it is a narrow hallway, only um twenty feet past stairs, and it doesn't exactly say how wide the hallway is. So we're just going to assume that the hallway is approximately single file. No, I'm going to give right. it uh, enough room to have two per, uh, per hallway. So it's going to be something like that. All of y'all here. Why not make it three? Because then all I have to do is get up on my shoulder. Put your ass on my shoulder. So. Okay. And they're right here. And, uh, yeah, they charge y'all. Everybody roll for initiative. Woo! We're fighting again. Huh? It's not just the answer. We're not hurts. If I physically hurt myself, can I drink a potion? Yeah, Fifteen. I got nineteen plus my initiative. Six. Okay, hold on. What'd you get? Fifteen. You. Nineteen. You. Seventeen. You. No. Six. Fifteen. Fifteen. So it's Matthew. No. Matthew. Um. Sixteen. Sixteen. Final sixteen. Eight. What'd you have? Fifteen. So then it's Noah. Then it's Alex. You had a six. Sorry, hold on. Then it's cultist That's one. That's how you play that. You cultist two. Oh, I like how it sounds like this. Yeah, but it's because then it's Cassie. So both cultists. You're and then my parents whenever they fight. Both cultists and then. How much help does the cultist have? Eight cultists <laughs> have. You know. Why are you holding? <laughs> no, stop eating off. Only twenty-two. Stop eating off at my goddaughter's stores. I ask Alex, what's your character? New character's name? Because. It just keeps changing. Jacks are there. I ask him if I should use Fireball to take them both out in one shot. Because they both yeah. only have 22 health. Uh, -huh. hold the on. Hold on. Okay. Is, hold on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Alex. Question. Question. Yeah. Answers. Okay. So, are they holding the captives with them? No, the captives are in the cells behind locked doors. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> the, uh, is 70 feet... Yeah, stand next sure. to me and fire, motherfucker. Sure, it's 70 feet long, and they're about halfway through, so they're probably about... 19 plus long. 7 Alex, for a cash. She asked me earlier, okay. where are you going, Mama? All and right. I said, remember me when Uncle Alex went... And she Fireball, 12 d 6 Me go. I said, no, yes. you go to Lolly. 12 d 6 <laughs> Well, we're going to be here for a good second. Let me know if you reach over 22. Is it technically... No, never mind. What? So I need, <laughs> what were you about to ask? Kind of, are you talking about putting carrots in people again? No, 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 no. I want to know where this train of dogs go, so please continue. Uh, I, I was thinking, Charlie, like... Charlie, I got six. I'm going to roll it, then roll again. Shouldn't... There's, like, some animes that definitely should be, like... The creator six? should be arrested. For what? Like, if okay. the... Like, if Lolicon like Loli okay. exists... Six. Okay, how did I know you were going in that direction? Like, Lolicon exists. You want to see a really good manga? Five. Well, you want to see a really good manga? 
No, not really. No? Let's, let's go buy out these one. dragon mage. I want a match! You, you want to see a really good manga? Sick. I just don't think either of should be on the Charlie, fucking Charlie, yeah. Charlie, should I show him my really good manga? Six. Everybody's five, four, but like, po like one, I'm on a show okay. that's literally just being okay. continuous. That's definitely over six. Really. No, you want to see my really good game. manga? Alright, really they are dead. Oh, no. uh, uh, Matthew has disintegrated both of the fucking cultists in one okay, go. Okay, let's try and stay on top of Kale. We're what? trying to rescue no, you. Can you did not know. Really no. 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 Come on. No. No. Let me show you no. a really good manga. No. 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 Okay, no. look, it doesn't bode well that we're literally discussing how Shotokan and Lolicon are both absolutely disgusting tropes in anime, and now you're saying on stream or recording that you have a really good manga. No, it is a really good manga. No. I, I have three of the books. I've seen it. No. No. There's nothing wrong with my manga. No one would probably like it. No, you're probably going to go back there. It's All right, so Matthew disintegrated the cultist. It's not the <laughs> it's, it's, it's something. Look, can we just focus on killing the cultists? Like and... already. He's murdered them both. Okay, but it's good. Good. like if when the creators are like, oh yeah, she looks like she's like twelve years old, but she's actually like seven thousand years old and an ancient wizard. I'd be like, yeah, but, but, but why? And I'm like, is that the is that the illegal part of it? Right. Or is that oh, the body has nothing to do with any of that. Okay, so That's look, completely legal. So since we killed the cultists, <laughs> is there anyone else in the hallway? No, 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 no. Okay, so the doors are locked. All these cell doors are locked, right? Um, all all eight doors leading in the um cell fun in the cell function the same as the rest of the doors throughout the entire complex. Okay, so the cell doors are locked. Yes. Okay then. So here's what I'm go. Uh, me and Matthew are going to do. We're going to get to the front of the hallway, and we're just going to start opening the doors one at a time. And ushering the people back out the way we they never, came. We never seen if they were actually people, though. Well, if they're still alive, let's open a door and see. Alrighty, so... Do you want me to roll, uh... Eight times, or do you want me to roll one time? Eight times. Alright. Yes, motherfucker. Her door, and y'all choose the door every time. Seventeen. Without anything. Okay, so that would be nine A. Or... What is that? An A? Yeah, that's an A. Okay. Yeah, it's nine A, B, C, D, so on. Okay, so nine A and nine E would be the first two we're trying to unlock. All right, so nine A. So we just unlock. Hold on, before you roll again, we just tried to unlock nine A. Now what's inside? Um. So I heard rain for a second. No, that's Cassie. Now what? Yeah, also my what's in nine A? Trying to make sure. All right, so 9A. Um, because it's not in order for some reason, by the way. Right. They just don't have them in order. Right. It's, it's not because I can't read. I mean, it is a little bit of that, but just because it's not in order. Um, it says, uh, Nima Harga's daughter uh, comes out. Female uh, something human commoner. Is is in one of the first cells, unconscious and down to only one hit point. When the characters find her, she's only been there for a few hours and doesn't even remember how she arrived. Okay, then. She's unconscious still, but when you wake her up, that's how it's going to be or when she wakes up. Okay, then. Uh, she's down to one hit point, though. Okay. Man, Matthew, don't sneeze. So, I'm going to use my Lay on Hands ability. I can heal. Uh, you lay your hands on that little girl. Straight to prison. Charlie. I'm sorry. The lay on hands just ability. About it, not... it allows me to heal up to 5 times 11, 55 basically, uh, health once per rest just by laying my hands on someone. So. Okay. That's a paladin skill, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give her just a little bit of health, like. 10 points of health. I'm gonna hand that to her. Okay, so we'll put her at 11. Okay, so that's fine. She should, she we'll should say that's her max. She should wake up for that. Yeah, she's awake. Okay. And how did I get here? What's going on? I said, shh. There may be cultists around. Here's cultists? What, no, not cultists. Here's what I need you to do, little girl. The cat is having a seizure, Princess. I understand. Now, 
want you to go up those stairs, past the creepy room with the dead bodies in it, and I want you to get out of here. Don't go down towards the spider webs. Go up. Keep going up until you reach the surface, and then hide. We'll be sending other people up after you. That's what I said. Okay. Maybe I can walk and make it all the way there. I'm not quite sure, but I feel like I might be able to. Okay. Good. So. I have to be hands a piece of bread. Where did I get bread from? I don't know. Maybe it's a brownie. <laughs> okay, then fine. Give the child some pot brownies. Don't forget the pot brownies. Okay, next we'll try 9E. Well, plus it's open. Yeah. Oh, we're in the cells now. Yeah, we're unlocking the cells one at a time, yeah, letting the prisoner out. What are you I'm going to take fucking forever! Well, I didn't if, want to die. if we do them all at once and there's something crazy as shit inside, do you want us to be overwhelmed? Say if there's like three... I mean, dragons. we're heading down the hall towards Why what I assume is a demon. Because there's right? only two at a time. If we do it two at a time, what happens to an innocent person we're trying to rescue? Fuck the innocent person. Say if a monster. Well, what I'm the lawful good person here. People don't do really anything for me either. So Plus, we're also going to get a reward. Oh, yeah, it's a big stretch. All right, so what was in that room? What was in the big stretch? Dead bodies died of starvation in different varying states of decay. Okay, fine. Let's move on. Nine. Wait, 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 wait. Are there any fungus growing on this dead body? Absolutely. Are there any moss too? Yes. I'm gonna be in this one for a while. The whole the whole room is covered. Okay, fine. I'm gonna be in this one for a while. Yes, do what you want. I'll roll it a ninety for the next unlock. Okay, so nine B. Nine B. B. Mark it. I'm suspicious of room ten. I don't want to go in there. Uh, I promise you, you may or may not anyway. Yeah. Said 9B? Yeah. Yep. Uh, where, uh, where, uh, where, uh, where, uh, where could she be? Is that even in this list? I mean, it should be. If it isn't, just say there's some random survivors in there. Dead body. Okay, dead body. Uh, nine out. Mm -hmm. Eight plus seven. Yeah, that's that probably guess. Yep. Unlocking these doors. What's in there? I know some. I have great choice. Is that their dead body? Oh. I know we got three dead bodies. Okay. Then. So two, nine no, C. No, it was two dead bodies and a pile of corpses. No, no, it's all. They're all the same. No, okay. Yeah. Nineteen again. On uh, what's this? Not one? G. Not G. No, nine C. Nice. Yeah, I was confused because he had it marked. Yeah, I went on to mark and then couldn't read it. Mm. So what's a nine C? Mm -hmm. Another dead body. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we need to check every cell to make sure there aren't any more survivors in this wing. Um. I honestly don't see 9C in here, so I'm going to say it's just another survivor who's not even in the list. Okay. Come we... on, cell 9C is empty. 9C oh. is empty. Okay, then. 9G. I did not unlock it that time. Try it again. 13 plus 7. Can I unlock it? Yeah. Once a 9G. All right. 9G. Oh, that's not important. An eight-year-old boy from another nearby village, Pan, is tired, hungry, and wants nothing more than to return to his parents. He is a non-compassionate commoner. I gave him some he brownies. Fight. Okay, then. He eats up those brownies like there's no tomorrow for his. He is so hungry. Okay, I tell the kid, hey, look, we just sent somebody else upstairs. Go up the, go up the same way that they did. Do not go towards the spider webs. Head up towards the light. Don't open the door. Eh, don't open the door at the far side of the room. Just go up the passageway, okay, kid? Now All right. he, he needs to make a constitution. He, he, he slowly to make sure that he did not just pass out the pot brownies. Nine. I guess Matthew's carrying him. Okay, fine, Matthew. He was stabbing. Carry him back, back up asleep. there. It, you know what? I, I tell Matthew, hey. 
No, I can't do that because he's the one unlocking the doors. Mm -hmm. Unless you're gonna blow, blast through them. Well, well no, they're, they're, them. it may kill the person on the inside. Yeah, I'll um, go through. Okay, uh, we leave. We get Casey to drag the other person back. Casey, can you drag him back? Can you carry a little boy? Can you carry a child to the surface without? Probably bigger than her anyway. Okay. Sure. I mean, all right, Cassie drags. She the has fourteen boy. strength. She's stronger than me. Okay then. She drags him up to the surface. Let's go on to nine D. It is opened. Okay, what's on it? Nine D. Construct Jin. Female half elf spy. Follows follows a still one back to the hidden chapel, although a little older um than most of the victims, kept in the Creed dungeon. Um I'm sorry, what the fuck is that? I'm questioning that the, as well. That's the dungeon she's in. That that's the the Creed is the cultist. No no no. What I what I want to know is she's a spy. Spy for who? Just half elf spy. Okay then. Well, we're going to tell her what's going on. And we're going to send her up uh, the same way Cassie went. Okay. And then I guess we have another chamber to open after nope. that. She yeah. says, I can't. I've got, I must finish my mission. And she heads up towards the stairs in Area 10. I said, wait, wait, wait. Wait for us. Don't go in. All right. Well, I'm going to go peek and do some recon then. Yeah. Okay, then. So, after we do that, we also need to open up that last one. On the right. 18. 9H. What's in 9H? 9H is empty. What's behind door number three? Okay, then. So, I guess we all... Uh, is Cassie back yet? After leading the, uh, taking the child back upstairs and leaving them at the doorway? At, at the doorway to the whole temple? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, I I go and join what's her face the elf spy. I join them, and once everyone gets back, I say, okay, now what's your mission here? As we're peeking up the stairs at whatever she's supposed to be looking for, she says, "I'm looking for the narrow path, a gateway. I don't know what it leads to. A I'm gateway to what? I, I mean, it's not what <laughs> kind of gateway." <laughs> It should be an otherworldly gateway. Well, the cultists said something about there being a demon near where they keep the prisoners, and since this seems to be their prison cell, I'm pretty sure it leads somewhere back. But that's where that's where I need to go. Why do you need to go there? Because I must talk to him. I t hold on. I take a look. To, I take a look at Noah. And I take a look. Uh, I take a look at the people to my left and right, and then I say, "You go ahead of us. We'll make sure the cultists don't come in behind." Okay. So we uh, we uh, I give her the go ahead to go on in. Oh no! Yeah, she runs up the stairs. And then I reach over. Let's get ready she to collapse this whole fucker. <laughs> Hey, I got no use for a demon. I'm a lawful good guy. So, but if you're lawful good, wouldn't that make you want to kill it? Because you're also a paladin. You know what else is pretty good at killing demons? These nuts. <laughs> no, entire caverns blowing up and collapsing on top of it. Did my cat just they poke did, you on the back of your head? They no. did say it was. He did say it was a crumbling sandstone oh, ruin covered in moss and vines. Head. It seems like something that would be pretty Sorry, easy really. to smash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you see scribbles doing this behind the No, I suggest so. <laughs> hey, is the cat bothering you? No, it's not. It's I, me. I'm the one who scratched the cat. I say no, but he leaned over like we just like blow up. Uh, we just blow up the place and say yeah. you died. Yeah, let's just blow up the stairway. Oh, she's up there. So we're blowing up the entrance to number 10? Yeah, we're blowing up the entrance to number 10. Unless anyone wants to go in there. And deal with what may be a demon. I mean, we could look at it for a second, like sit at the stairs, see it, and if there's a demon, just blow it. Okay, then fine. Hey, since you're the best at sneaking, you sneak on up those stairs and take a look for us. I'm not you want, going you up want there. Me to roll? 
Yeah, you gotta roll for some hits. For stealth. 17. Plus 10. I mean, I got a negative 1 on dexterity. That's how bad. Yeah, we look for stealth. Then. Well, I got a 17 plus a 10, design. so that's over uh, 20. Yeah, I know. So, you sneak up the stairs and you peek over. You see the spy in the room. You, you still don't see anyone else in the room other than a mirror and a pedestal. You see her looking at the pedestal, but you feel something coming from the mirror. Some strong force of magic. You feel like there isn't any way for anything to go in or out, but you can feel that the, that something was there watching, and it knows that you're there. Oh my god, it's, it's a fucking me. magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, I go on the wall. I go the rest of the party. What did you say? Well, you don't. That's all I was there. You don't. I said there's a pedestal in the middle, there's a strange mirror with magic coming from it, and I feel like if we go in there, we won't be able to go out, and I felt like someone was watching me, even though I was trying to hide. Got it. Okay, let's blow it. If we go up there, you won't be able to get it out? Or you said there's it? no way for yeah. anything to go in or out. Uh, yeah, you no, know, in or out of the mirror. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Out of the mirror, not the room. The room's just the basic open I'd room. like to go up in there. All right. I'm not going up in there. I'm going to turn Noah. right back around and head away from Are this terrible mess. Noah. I'm an adventurer, what, but I'm not a stupid choose? person. Do you want to go in? I'm not a go... demon worshiper, remember? Or do you want to be See, he's more, he doesn't trip anything. I'm going to follow Alex. I'm wanting people to get my toes. Yeah. If, if y'all want to do some demon shit, you go right on the head. All right, who's going upstairs? What do you mean, going up the stairs to ten? Yeah, I'm not. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the tent? Tent's where the demon is. There's a pedestal and a mirror there with a elf. And they said there was a demon at You know what? No, no, no. We said the bathroom. I think I'm going to go up this way. I'm going to lose. I'm going to just go upstairs. You go up. You go up. Did you just Leroy Jenkins? Yeah. Oh, he did. Well, well, I guess I'm. Noah runs up into number 10. I guess I go up too. Yep. Matthew goes up. Cassie goes up. I guess I follow after them. You just hear Noah go, Leroy Jenkins! Leroy Jenkins! Oh, so, y'all enter the room and y'all come to a stop. Not really much more you could run. It's kind of the smallest room. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So I look around the room and I'm just like, uh, what's, what's around the room? I'm at the front of the line. I mean, there's, there's a the pedestal and a mirror. Yeah, the pedestal with the mirror behind it. And there's, really, there's a bunch of cloth. I really going around the edges. I really do need to piss. Can I piss in the mirror? Yes. Uh, yes, please feel free. All right, I'm Noah. gonna try to piss in the mirror. No, please. No. I... Noah, there's a woman present. <laughs> Fuck your demons. Fuck your cults. Fuck this. There is like nothing in here that I care about. about. No, I mean there's an elven spy. What do you think she's gonna say when she gets back to the village? <laughs> <laughs> Very tiny gnome pissed on a demon. <laughs> If anybody's pseudo-religious, they'd be like, that's pretty impressive. I don't think anyone else knows there's a demon there. I just said there's magic coming from it. Well, I mean, the, the cultists uh, said that they keep the prisoners right next to the demon. And we found prisoners. I mean, oh, by the way, there's also some black bones, black charred bones on top of the altar. Top of the pet. Okay, yeah, your dick's getting burned off. Okay. Uh, just pissing on the mirror. Okay. No, you know what this is no, going to do. Speed you know! A hand comes out the mirror, grabs. I mean, we already sliced your dick tip off, Noah. What more needs to happen? I don't really. Mm -hmm. That's it, Noah. You're castrati soon. Charlie, what the fuck happens? Oh, what? He's pissing on the mirror. What the fuck's about to happen? He just feel the intimidating presence staring at you. What's the spy lady say? How small the spy still looking at the pedestal like it's got to be here. It's got to be here. The trigger's got to be here. What trigger? To open the path, the narrow path, whatever that is. What narrow path? That's this... what y'all. That's what she's trying to figure out. Alrighty, I use ma passive magic detection. That mirror has got so much magic coming off of it, you can't detect it. It's interference. Nice. Well, I'm not about to smash that shit because they said there was a demon in it. Is what I tell her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's no light in there. No, there is a little bit of light. I don't think there. you understand. I'm not. There's also again. I'm neutral. Cloth evil, all around the edge. Dude, the yeah. shit. That is considered evil for the sole purpose of making me feel good. You do realize that demon will still try and kill you, right? I, I'll fight it. I'll go fuck. I beat a Tarask earlier. 
I use magic. You, you got jumped out of Tarask. You you been the heavily elf, nerfed. The elf touch me in the I, I will altered. choke out a demon. Yeah, the elf that touching bitch. Altered. I go up, touch it, and use pe magic detection. Which anything about a magical object, I will learn about. You don't detect any magic from the object, but you can detect that there has been magic rituals done on the altar before. Okay, he was pissing on the mirror, right? Yeah. I go put my finger on and use magic detect detection again, which tells me everything about a magical object. On the mirror? Yep. So you're touching his piss? No. You're yeah. touching the side of the mirror. where he He's too short to piss up where I'm touching. Unless he's doing some fucking... He's doing some straight. wide art shit. <laughs> he's pissing with velocity. Sounds like I'm frying chicken in there. <laughs> God damn. Alright, Matt. Um, yeah. Okay. Roll a d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Only intelligent. Oh, so no. Nothing, not the bonus, just intelligent. Okay, so that's 14 plus 2, which would be 16. You touch the mirror, and the magic that you felt coming from it goes away. Uh oh. The mirror then shatters. Oh. Fuck. The pathway has been closed. Oh no. Nice. You feel no more high intense magical presence. You will feel a faint magical presence coming up from behind you now, though. At the door of the room. You mean the door at the room where I'm standing? Uh, yeah. in the room you're in, yes. I'm standing in the doorway, Charlie. I never left the doorway. I wanted nothing to do with that room. You feel a hand push out behind you and push you forward into the room, and the man steps into the storefront. Son of a bitch. He says, you broke the mirror. Now how do we speak to our god? How are we supposed to Hold get on. out of whoa, divine whoa, whoa. intervention? Uh, Hold on! I turn and look at Cassie. Cassie! Uh, or, wait, wait, wait. Cassie's on my shoulder. What, what's Vixen. Her? Vixen. Vixen. I thought you were watching the passageway. What happened? He was already in the room. He was in the room behind the curtains going around the room, as I described. He, there's curtains going I, around? I said that. I said you, there's you curtains not, around. You got, you did, oh, so he was in the room the whole time. He didn't come in from behind us or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. He was but hiding. how did he push Alice in if he was in the room? He reached out Alice. from behind a curtain. Yeah, but if you were standing in the doorway and he pushed you in... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He wouldn't have been Hold on. To. Look at my back. That's what I'm saying. What about it? It's covered in spikes. He can't feel his And hands. if he's in front of you, I can't see his I hands. I can't see them be able to push you all the way in. This is what what he looked like, okay? Oh, he didn't. It didn't hurt him. I promise. Oh, okay. Then, well, then in that case, uh, I guess we're about to attack this guy. Uh yes. Everybody, roll initiative with disadvantage. This is cultists of the Shattered God. Because Shattered we God. So what Shattered the God? By the Huh? What's the disadvantage? You roll twice and you take the lower number. Well, 17. No. no. 18. Well, okay, I got 17. Twice. Plus initiative, 17. 15. 15. 15. Well, I got 22 plus initiative. Small boy go first. Oh, with I got, initiative? Well, plus initiative. I got 13. Which I got 22. Oh, gosh darn. All right, so 15. one more time. What? 22. You? 15. You? Mm -hmm. 15, he'll mm -hmm. go first. Mm -hmm. You? 13. You got 22. Yeah. So it's Matt. Is that with initiative? Disadvantage? Yeah. What was her disadvantage? You rolled twice to take the lower number. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I didn't roll a second time. Let me see. Okay, yeah, so 15. 11. You? I had already rolled once. What'd you get? My lowest was 12. I never understood next... why. All right, so what was yours? 15. 15 yeah. So it's Noah. Casey. Sorry, sorry. It's cultist. Yeah. And then Noah. Wait, how about it? Cultist. 17. Uh -huh. Then Noah. Then it was Cassie. Yeah. Well, then then Alex. I think that's everybody. Yep. And he has. <laughs> By the way, it's my curse ended. Yes. Okay. And when y'all were rescuing the prisoners, so right. you were able to touch doors without them literally walking away. He never right. touched the door, though. Yeah, but he couldn't. 
think that it sucks. <laughs> Did you you the blade, like, if they touch the lock and the doors would fall open. Yeah, well, they may have fallen open on top All of right. the shelter. So, because he's pushed Alex forward... Uh, no fucking Alex sense. is here. Matthew was way up here. Cassie was. Did you think what I'm saying? Cassie, Cassie was fourth. Noah was. I'm assuming at the pedestal, right? Wasn't Cassie on my shoulder? No, and then that I'm just done. gonna do this for now. He is here as a uh, just a uh, step in. Okay. Because he pushed you forward, he gets uh, uh, attack and advantage first. Right. Um. He reached out door. from behind the curtain and nudged yeah, me he forward. He would have to stick his hand out through the door and around you to then push your he was, ass out. He was it door. doesn't matter. He pushed it forward. It makes no sense. You it's not the your problem. husband is a bad writer. We know this. Like, that's bad. Like, he should have came up behind him what or something. you think this is bad? You should read his My Little Pony fan fiction. Wait, what? <laughs> when did I write that? It's about how derpy hooves learn from first anal experience. No, no, no. They're right there down the island. Oh, my God. Okay, let's continue. And I don't think that was anal. Either. What happened? The time that Princess Left Hand gave, gave the whole entire question to Derpy for one day. Oh, gosh. Muffins for everyone! <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of that of that uh, story. Actually, was I'm like, not interested in knowing the it name. It was not a sex uh, story. I I'm promise not that. interested in knowing the name anyway. It was just called the island. Uh, I don't care. Right, so, he pushes you forward and he swings his blade at you. It's uh, called the Shatter Blade. It is a melee attack. It does uh, plus forty hit uh, reach of five feet. One target. Uh, um, Break my armor class, bitch pudding. Come on. One D ten plus one piercing. Charlie, armor class. Roll. Okay. You're explaining his attack, but you don't have the armor class. Roll, Charlie's arm. Roll. Where's my black dice? Up your ass. Yeah, he swings it at you and misses, and no one else wait, has wait, to make the next roll. In that one, Thank yes, you. he did. Shouldn't he take damage from that? No. Oh hits, yeah, he should. It hits the wall, and now the blade is stuck in the wall. No, the blade is stuck in my armor. Fuck you, my blade now. Okay, sure, why not? The blade is stuck in Alex's armor. He has no longer have a blade. That's fine. He's a spellcaster. Alex has the blade. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I don't get sword. bonuses for blades. Mm -hmm. But you still have it. Yeah. All right, so uh, now know. it's uh, Matthew's turn. I'd like to hide. Why are you always trying to fucking hide? I get We're it. We're all a damn dick and go out there and fight. Because well, he do you want double, double damage? damage on a sneak attack. Yeah. Do you want double damage with like 50? Where are you hiding? He bitch put him. Uh, to the right. So I'm able to. So no, like. So I don't hit anyone else. Okay. I mean, if you cast Fireball, you're going to hit everybody. I never said I was going to cast Fireball. I'm just saying, if you do, you're going to hit everybody. Okay. Yeah. All right, next was, uh, we'll skip over Cultus because we got the sneak Casey, attack. I think. No, it's Noah. Noah. Okay. All right, let's see what I can do here. I was going to fucking stab it. Yeah. All right, so Noah turns around. Stabbing time. Runs up to the bitch. And, uh, and what bonus. are you doing? Stabbing him with my bone dagger. Stabbing him. He already said stabbing him. Don't stab a hook. What is that? What is that? How much time does he have, by the way? It hasn't been made yet. Oh, what you got to take back? 18! Nice. How much health does he have? Don't worry about that. Did I break its armor class? I don't like that. How much health does he have? Yeah. What's his armor class at least? I deal. Joe, that's a dickhead. I deal exactly 1d4 plus 4 damage. Gilbert Gottfried. Is your character voiced by Gilbert Gottfried? No, but I can do a pretty good impression. Here. It is now. Alright, so you do 1d4 plus what? Yeah, 1d4 plus 4 piercing damage. We need to get Vin Diesel to voice Olo. Uh, we need five. to get Gilbert Gottfried to voice your guy. We still gotta pick somebody for... I know. Neil Patrick Harris plays Charlie's character. Okay. Yeah, All right. Um. Yeah. Next is uh, Cassie. I'm not a whipple. Oh, and then we gotta get Michael Sarah okay. to play Josh's character. Is Michael Sarah even doing movies anymore? I don't I think know. He's a drug addict. But... Fifteen. Really? You do not break his is armor class. Trying? What did you get? I got fucking fifteen, and I didn't break his armor class. His armor class. What's his armor class? Do you identify? 
He had he Charlie. Wait, no. What this is an out of character uh, question. 18. Answer, okay. bitch. Okay, so it's between fifteen and eighteen. No, no, there's no figuring it out. You gotta answer. I mean, he just answered the question. It's between fifteen and eighteen, so that only gives you two options. I'm sorry. Did you forget how to count briefly? Yes, I did, and I still don't know how. All right, it is now Alex's turn, actually. Okay, good point. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. He is a mini boss in there. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to start just by smacking him upside the head with my mace. Okay. Uh, that's 1d6 plus 1d8 radiant damage plus 3 extra damage. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that was a 4, so that didn't work. Now for my second attack. Uh, that's 14 plus... You don't get any bonuses when it comes to breaking the armor class, do you? Uh, not normally, no. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, depending on what you do. Okay, doing. well, now for the tail attack. Let's see. Did, did, did. 13, no. Okay. Yep. All right, so um, next yeah, is at him Matthew again, looking because it's rolled back around. Okay. And we're now on our normal roll. Will I hit anyone if I shoot? Uh, Yes, absolutely. Not, not with fire you ball. will hit with literally what? everybody. Where are you shooting? Finger of death. You will shoot literally everybody, Matthew. Are you not paying any attention? Finger of death. Uh, yeah, you'd have to literally shoot through everybody. Okay, I go more to the side then. That's How? You're... He's standing in the door. Yeah, you would really have to be there. You'd still have to shoot through Noah. I yeah. mean, you could shoot over Noah. Okay, I shoot. Wait, can I... Just try Wait. shooting through Noah. I shoot over Noah. No, I think over no, Noah. No, I mean, like, literally through him. Like, up the I got, butt. I rolled a 17. Up. You rolled a what? 17 plus 7. Alright, well, you. That, okay, sure. Then now I'll choose a finger death. That is. What is it? 78. Excuse me. I tried to make a campaign where Matthew's magic couldn't be so good, but yet it still kills everything and only hits the most parts. Magic. Well, it's because he's using fucking Four. fireball. No, he's using the finger of death. Four. It's not an explosion. But I. Before he was using fireball. He was before, yeah. Fireball normally killed everything. No, he doesn't. He's trying to suck Well, I mean, in his this is the end thing, he was literally doing drugs in the bathroom while one girl gave him a blowjob while the other was giving him a rim job, and he's sitting there drinking it for three sons. So, and also, so are you watching? Might I also yes, add, this, I was this, also the hit. End. Yeah. Huh? I was also but hit. In real life, he just kind of just quit acting. Oh, oh. Yeah, he just does voice acting. That was like, on the side. Like, nice. Yeah, we roll that one. All right, so eight. Fucking, you want to see a bad okay, four in a bad animated movie? One. Lionsgate just dropped four, that Pinocchio trailer. One. Oh, yeah. Six. Holly Shore of Pinocchio. Three. Th then again, the Snow White movie that I just mentioned. Is, it's got does, bad casting to begin with. You know why? Honestly, like I would 30? love to see yes, it. Plus thirty. Dwarves, oh, you don't add that. Hold on. Remember the seven dwarves. Whatever you just got times two. That, that wouldn't problem. add because it's just necrotic. They cast a Latina so girl. It's 30 Snow necrotic. Plus you know why they named her Snow White? Hitting, right? Because her skin was as fair as white as snow. Exactly. So what? What's the point of so calling how much it Snow White? To call the movie something else. Well, they wanted diversity. They yeah, always want diversity in Hollywood. Well, then why not make the dwarves I do? I just want to know. They were well, going with to. his resistance. Exactly. Only twenty one. But then they were like, I mean, well, only twenty one left. See if like racial bias. Like, all these dwarves oh. should be white, or all these dwarves should be black. Yeah, the resistance to necrotic. Uh, he has resistance. They never said people. they were brothers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So well, he has something. They lived in a nice imagine. cottage in the woods. At least necrotic. Maybe no, necrotic. According to the war village, they lived in a cave of shattering. Be easy, Egyptian. Be that one. In, 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 like, in I mean, he played a good E tree, and I think zombies. he could be a good actor. Yeah, in the zombies. Yeah, that's, that's why they're cool. So so I did what? What did you do? No, he had representation. Oh, 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 he has twenty one health left. Brian. He has twenty one health Brad. left. Good for you. Kill him. He has twenty one health yes. left. That's great. Who's next? He is. Oh. Uh, Wait. What about Cassie? Cassie. What was hers? She tried to hit. She tried to whip it. She did. Oh. Okay. Okay. Missed. All right. So, good lord, sorry to talk thirteen. Mm -hmm. 
Brad Williams. Get Brad Williams. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah. And get Brad Williams. I don't know the who was the black one that was on like Nickelodeon for All a right. while. So, uh, Black Thor. He Maybe cast Thor. Shatter. Remember, he is the cultist of the Shattered Gods. And he's a little bit. Hey. So Can't everybody, um, how close? How much range does it have? Because yeah. I'm like 60. everyone in the room. I'm. Not... I'm sorry. What? It casts Shatter. It does cast a cone. And it's going to hit everyone in this room. Um, so everybody make a uh, a wisdom save. Wisdom saving. Oh, yeah. goody. Wisdom. Doesn't he have to 15. make a roll to try to do it? No. So it's a d20 wisdom save. Uh, 18. <laughs> okay. Take half. All right, so what am I supposed to be rolling? A wisdom save. Just 14. Wisdom. Um, You take full. How much is full? 18. You take plus half. twenty. Three. You take eighteen half. plus three. Wait, nat twenty or add twenty? Uh, at twenty, not nat. Add it. Okay. So add I got a twenty one okay. technically. Sixteen plus four modifier. Okay. So y'all take half. She takes full. Um, this is uh. Literally one of Matthew's spells that he could tell us if he wanted. But no. he wanted. I, I don't have this. Three d eight. That's what I need. You cast shatter over two sessions ago. I cast. That's been, it's been quite a while since two sessions ago has happened. Yeah, but he still has the spell. It's not the same. So, 443. Everything in 10 feet of target makes con save half on pass. Well, are we 10 feet too? Uh, this whole room is less than 10 feet. Oh. Or around about 10 feet. It don't matter. You're all right there, Adam. Yes. Mm. Um, there's that. Oh, right, right. Uh, actually, there is something. Um, it's also a. Because of my uh, aura of warding, everybody gets resistance uh, against spells within 10 feet. And since we're all within 10 feet of each other, we do have some manner of protection. Everybody takes 16 damage then because of that. It was going to be 31. <laughs> to her. Oh. Y'all would have taken 16 anyway. Oh, she would have died, wouldn't she? Wait. Half 42. If uh, Ard got half, would that make ours half too? After no, two. because his resistance and y'all's uh, dodge kind of just do the same thing. Does anybody want a potion? No. I'm dead. I got 113. We'll worry about the potion you after. You don't have that much health. I just have that much health. I have 42 health. We need to look into your character creation because. I help them create it is the problem. You're the problem, yes. <laughs> I know. Right? I only have 42 health. All right, well, whoever attacks, he only has, what, 21 health? So that yeah. takes me down to 71, 87. So if any of y'all can kill him, that'd be oh, my design. If ah, it's yes, doesn't, it I'll always have to kill him. That, or I could just hide away and say, to all of you, <laughs> get hit again. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Why, you'll just get hit in the same room. I mean, if I escape, hide in the room. Or leave the room, then. He can't, the door shut. Oh yeah, the door is shut. Not shut, it's blocked. Blocked by who, him? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, we're out. blocking the door. Can you clone your cat for me? No. Anyway. I don't know if it'd be a good clone. It's a lot of fat to clone. Uh, Wait, is he a monster, technically? So... No, he's a cultist. So he's technically human. Yes, he is human. Okay, no one kill him. I have plans with him now. Oh, that's what you're doing. Did you actually say that in character? Uh, actually, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes. Has everyone taken away their damage? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, it's Noah's turn. I'm sorry. Woo! I say in character. All right. So no one kill him. I have plans for him. Yeah. I'm going to one. I can make him our Do slave. I have something that can really care. fuck him over? Let me see what I got. I mean, you got a dick. I got a sword. You got his sword. Yeah, I have his sword. It's shattered. Which is uh, so oh, terrifying yeah. as it is. Yeah. Y'all yeah, were all lucky. You dodged. We didn't dodge. Oh, you're right. He missed. But close no, enough. he just slammed it right into my armor, and now it's stuck. <laughs> I mean, he hit your back. But yeah. No, he hit my arm. I'm like standing there. Ping. I I should have let it, I should have gave him advantage on that roll because it was a back attack, and you didn't realize he was about to attack you because he pushed you forward. Right. But I should have technically, but I gave him advantage on his um. On his attack instead on Charlie. The, uh... Charlie, if I had made him my slave, would he still have all the stuff he does? Yes, I just somehow lost the dice. 
Yes, you did. I'm not sure where the hell it just vanished to, though. I don't see it. Were you saying yes for me? Charlie? Kind of, yeah. Okay, so in other words, we will have a Shatter of God on our team. If no, I get to no, the cultist of the cultist of the shattered god. Where the hell did the device go? Probably in your chair. Where in my chair? In the folds of that thing you're setting up. No, I found bees. So anyway, it's um, right here. It's just blended in. I'm gonna summon ins. Well, no shit. There's too many people around. I mean, yeah. if you start summoning stuff, the room's gonna get very congested. I'm gonna conjure Faye. Why is the cat upset over there? It's very upset. It's arching its back. It's just He's just weird. Yeah, okay. So you're conjuring a Faye. Conjuring a Faye. I mean, if I, if I could just hit him, I can kill him. That's the problem. There's no way to boost armor. 18. Armor class. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that could cast, so yeah. I summon a fake creature of a challenge rating 6 or lower, or a fake spirit that can take the form of a beast with a challenge rating 6 or lower. It appears in an unoccupied space that you can see within range. The fake creature disappears when its health points drop zero. Do we have an unoccupied space? Behind him in the hallway. Yeah. Because really? it has to also be in the area in which he could see, so it means behind the cultist leader. We're about to sandwich What are you summoning, fucker? Gush of fairy. I remember us having this conversation the last time you used that spell. There was a whole index of things to summon. Yes, there was. Okay. While you decide, I'm going to pee. I thought I should announce that for everybody else. Everyone else. Okay, everyone, get out your cameras so we can videotape Charlie's tiny dick. You really want to see that badly, Alex. No, no, we're just going to post it on InfoWars with Alex Jones and send it off with Joe Rogan. Giant and... Scorpion? Okay. Will he be able to fit, though? Uh, no. No, Okay, then, why, then don't summon him. Because then he'll just insta-die. Crushed to death by the walls he summoned between. This is a level... Six spell. So I can cast anything from six down. Here are my choices. I have basically zero to six right here. So six is mammoth. Mm, excuse me. Go for something small. Yeah, something small. Like, uh, did you do? Go for a black bear. Black bear? Go for a black bear. Let the black bear nod his ass a little bit. Yeah, put the fear of God in him. Let a bear bite his head. I was thinking giant frog. How big's how giant is the frog though? Is it just going to pull an aqua? Is it just gonna pull? It? And he's just gonna be sitting there with his legs sticking out like Alright, what what did you choose? He's decided he's he's between a bear and a giant frog. I'm gonna go with the frog. Okay. Frog. Giant frog. Le large frog. It will get thrown. Back here and in the bottom of the uh, order. Stairs. Yes. J. Yeah. Okay. I have the armor class of 11, hit points of 39, speed, swim, all that good shit. It's just going to glomp all over him, man. It's just gonna... It can swallow him. Yeah, try and swallow his. So good. So could the two rats, but you held it down. It was going to eat you next turn. Oh, my God. All right. So... You said it couldn't swallow. You I changed your it... story now. No, it couldn't swallow because it was held down. Whatever. If it wasn't held down, it was going to swallow him. That's why him. he couldn't Is that move. my turn? Is uh, me summoning the frog? Or I mean, frog that, that's your action, but you still have a movement action, and if you get a bonus action. I think I'll just probably stab him again. Yeah, well, that's a, that would be an, another action unless you got a bonus action attack. Do you have bonus action listed anywhere on your thing? Oh, I do. I have a bonus action and I have an extra attack. And then there's Matt over here who can literally raise his head upon killing something. Oh, and then we can make him our slave. How interesting. Why should I care again? 
I already got it sword. What more do I need him for? Nope. I'm good. Why do I'm I need good. a Ponzi? Next person is. Happy. Well, we need someone to carry the gym, don't we? I'm going to carry that fucker. You'll get another mutation. I don't care. We're going to take it and sell it, ain't we? So, if you knew what they were, I'm going to use would. my short sword. He is right. Mm, he is right. Which one, is a 1d6, and I'm going to fly, so it's 1d6 plus 6. That's a hint. Mm -hmm. I'm use my one, short if you touch sword, it, you will not be carrying it. Short sword? Yeah. My short sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I can get through this class. Matthew. That's why I asked. 16. Matthew. Stop. You uh, break its armor class, yes. Okay, so that's 1d6 plus 6. Why do you think I said we should bury it? 7. 7. We buried it so we can get it later. Alright, next is Alex. Oh, there's still freaking potion. I don't no one need it. No one. Then I have to go home and use that low amount of health. I don't have low. Neither do I. Oh also, I don't have any health potions. What's the trick one, Charlie? Yeah, I don't have any health potions. Ah, you don't need them. She can help you. Did Alex? Okay, then. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to... From now on, none of the stores will ever carry health potions, and y'all have to come through me to get them. No, but it would definitely <laughs> be a lot more cost-effective to just get them through you, but you have to actually take the time to make them. Which you haven't been logging downtime actions. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and break his AC. Okay, that failed for my first attack. That failed even harder for my second attack. Okay. Are these dice rigged? Well, no. you do have it sitting on your leg, so it keeps rolling to the side. Okay, you know what? Just for that, I'm going to give this one more shot. He got 15. The fail. Okay, well then. I'm this guy. Alright, whose turn? It is new, um, a giant frog. It is Kato. Giant frog. Hello? Giant frog. How much health does he giant have? Giant frog? Giant frog. Giant frog gonna be his goal. They gonna fuck the frog. Does it need to break his armor class? Uh, yes, it does. Does it need to set him on fire and go screaming through the streets? Okay, oh, it will. A frog just latched on one fire. No, it's the hypno code. Is That's it? a seven. Right, so the giant turn. frog tries to eat him, and he slaps him back down the hallway. All right, Al, uh, Matthew's turn. Okay. Okay, Matthew. Finish him. I use finger of death. Finish him, you fucking spell boy. Fail. Wait okay, a minute. That's finger of death. Yes, finger of death. Matthew. Yes, it's going over him. He's short. He's short. Keep that in mind. He can shoot over no one in a lot of you. Okay. That's uh, 13. I mean, that is technically true. That's 13 plus 7. Okay. okay. Don't good. fuck up, though. I mean, unless he's shooting it from his dick. Don't fuck it's up. It's gonna go over Noah's head. Yeah, don't eight. fuck up, though. We yeah, need don't mess goal. up. I mean, no, well, he, he rolled a 17 we need plus two. whatever. No, I rolled a 13 plus 7. Yeah, he rolled a 13 plus 7, so. Two, Pretty high. You can still Three, fuck four, five, 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 Seven. Eight. Hold on. Eight. 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 Six. Six. One. Eight. I hate you, Matt. Is he dead? Uh, dead. On. He dead. Absolutely. And now he is my slave. Very what very ability again? Dead. Finger of death. On. Uh, human uh, humanoids killed becomes perm slave. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, okay, so he now had a zombie going along with him. And you said uh, I keep all his stats and stuff. Yeah, I'll just call him Shatter. That's his new name is Shatter. Oh, I'm not going to call Come him here, Come here, Shatter. He is not very bright. Does he does not have his sword. Just because he came back to full health, does that mean, uh... Well, just because he got killed in Revive, does that mean he has full health again? Technically, yes, but keep in mind, he is also a, a zombie, zombie now, which means he, takes he does life. not regenerate any kind of magic energy. Yep. Once it's gone, if he uses it all, it's gone. So, in other words, as soon as his magic card is gone, it's gone. 
once he once he uses his first spell, he can no longer cast any more magic. Hmm. Means nope. he's a shield at this yeah, point. Yeah, he's yeah. That's the whole point. Of okay him. then. So, Alex, you have that sword still stuck in you. Do you want to pull it out? Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. <laughs> just gonna walk through this town. Sup? This is well. Sword. When we get back to the blacksmith, I'm going to ask him to be careful and remove it. And we're going to use that big ruby. As I mean, it's stuck in your armor, but okay. Yeah, I don't want to damage the sword or my armor trying to yank. He got the blank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, Alex, for now, you will have disadvantage on any movement rolls until it's removed. That's fine. So, yeah. One, three, it's yeah. not like I was good at movement rolls. <laughs> so uh, we so, went to ten and killed him. What now? You killed the cultist. Yeah, we killed the cultist and we destroyed the path. So I guess we go and talk to that spy girl and we're like, hey, was that your mission? I was supposed to go through the path. I was supposed to talk to him. He was supposed to tell me where I'm supposed to go. Well, then why were you looking at the altar instead of the mirror? Because it's obviously suspect. Because I thought he came off the altar. I didn't know the mirror had anything to do with it. Well, now you need to go back to town because we're about to blow this place sky high with all the cultists. I, I can't leave like this. I have to stay here. I cannot leave if I haven't talked to him. If I didn't talk to him, they're just going to kill me when I get back. Well, then why would they kill you? Because I was supposed to bring him back with me. Bring who? The demon? Yes. Why I was supposed would it... to bring back uh, so the Shatter God or something like that? Oh, demon. No. Um, um, I'm looking. Um, Er, Eustress. Eustress, God of Judgment. I'm sorry, you thought that mirror opened a plane to the gods? That's what our that's what our uh, history tells us, is that it's supposed to uh, lead us into the God of Judgment. We need him. We need him to uh, be able to help us with the, uh, with the um, conflict we're having. Okay, stop. Think about this for a second. This is a cult site. These people are sacrificing innocent people and draining their blood into pools and praying to strange otherworldly beings. They are blessed with weird power and they revel in cruelty. The God of Judgment is not here. That was him. This is his temple. It has been buried from the ages. It has been desecrated. His connection to this land is gone. I'm trying to persuade here. Yeah. Do I need to roll up? Sure. Yeah. Uh, sure. Go ahead and persuade. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can persuade her that she's being stupid, and that she needs to get out of here. Seventeen mm. plus five. <laughs> well, I still can't go home. Oh, sorry. Plus ten. Close enough. Either way. Um, I still can't go home. I don't know if I if if I should leave here and keep looking. Maybe you should go home. Go somewhere. Well, where did you come from? I came from a completely different continent. A continent of um, of uh, um, darkness and magic. We are in a war right now, and we need the God of Judgment to help tell us who is really right in our conflict. What's the conflict about? Which size nipples are right? Are you, fu are you pulling a... Is she blue? No, but that was a Rick and Morty reference, yes. Okay. Can't think of anything else. I said, what are the two sizes of nipples? There's donut, and then there's donut holes. And what size are you? I'm donut. Donut is right. Go back home, tell them. But I have must bring the God of Judgment with me. Uh, we... I walk over to the piece of the shattered mirror, and I pick it up and say, tell them that this is evidence that, that, that you found it. As soon as you pick it up, that piece of shard shatters into dust. I, I don't have the... Wait, is that the curse, or were you just doing that to be an animal? No, that's the mirror. Okay. That's actually that's an actual concept of the mirror. Well, then I start picking the up... The only person who could even interact with it was him, I start... and he failed the roll, so I... he shattered I it, and it can no roll. longer be... No, you I... had to roll a 20 I start, for that mirror not to scatter I start it. sweeping, I start sweeping no, I up some of the dust, and I hand it to her. Take this as yeah. evidence that you tried. <laughs> As soon as it touches it, it disappears pretty much. Every time it is touched by anything, it just vanishes. It's disintegrating as it's being touched. I'm like, 
The well, god, it, it's literally being destroyed by the god. And by the way, it was the god of judgment in the mirror. It's a demon god. Well, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe you should just go back and live at the town nearest here. I mean, at least then you can get a fresh start. Or you could go try and find another temple to the god of judgment. No, that that sounds like a great idea. I'll just go to the tavern and drink my sorrows away. Maybe some other adventure will come out and put me out of my misery. Okay, well, you, you know the way back out. I mean, it's very clearly marked. Just avoid the spider webs, and don't go into that room with the two ghouls in it across from, you know, the blood pool. Uh, Hi. Yeah, so I point her out, and I guess we head back up out of there, and we head back up towards the spider webbed off area. I asked the party, should we go through it? Because there might be more valuables, like the sword and well, I don't remember your name. This chest and the big gem that we also have now. Right. I guess we do have a duty to go and make sure that this cult is wiped out before we destroy this evil temple. So, wait, 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 wait. One more time? I guess we have a duty to destroy this evil cult and make sure it's wiped out before we destroy the temple. So, are y'all going through the rest of it? Yeah, we're going, yeah, through, we're the gonna go ah! through the rest of it. Ch Charlie, did you just close that? He just fucking closed it, didn't he? He did. He Charlie, did. you brainless nincompoop. We he, literally he just said, said we're heading back door. up the other I way to off. wipe the cult out. We had no sooner than we had said that. Uh, what do you think about this, cat? Should Do you want to join us, or do you want to sit in someone's lap? Mainly, probably... I don't, oh, why are please. you talking Russian? Huh? Why is he talking like I'm a talking Russian? Russian? I don't know why he's talking. He's talking like a bitch. Here. I didn't know I was. Okay, so we're all now gathered at that little bonfire at the entrance to four. Alright, let's wait till we get oh. like and situate to get the map back up. Shake and shake it. It's all in 4K, so I have to actually uh, get it right. Alright, okay. so you're right. Yes, we're all gathered right here. The cobwebs are still there, right? Or what? The cobwebs are there. What? You want to see it first? No. No worries. No. Here. All right. Here, Charlie. Oh my God! Not Mater. Oh, okay. I mean, just it's a Hago face. Uh, All right. So, what do y'all do? I just remember Cobweb's going to be destroyed pretty much by the fire. Like three like four four fire. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go hold my mace into the fire bonfire, like right next to. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I, Fuck, I got a torch right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold the torch at it. Okay, spider, the spider web burn. Yep, spider webs burn down. Okay, so now I'm just going to stay. So now here's what I'm going to do. What do we have in front of us here? We have a long, narrow hallway leading down into a corridor that we know nothing about, right? Pretty much. So here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, okay, get ready to back me up here, guys. So... I walk right up to the entrance to that stairwell, and I shout, trying to intimidate as loud as I can. Do any cultists that hear this, your leader is dead. Your altar is broken. Your slaves have been freed. Surrender yourself to death or remain hidden. It is your choice. And I'm going to roll for intimidation. No one heard you anymore. Well, no one's in the room. No one's in any of the rooms down there? I mean, I mean I'm no. yelling. Not in four. Not in four? They can't hear me past four? Um, let's see who's in here. I mean, it's, it's a big sandstone chamber underground. This is kind of like Echo Central. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's... It should at least I can download it. No one in five currently. Okay. Okay, then. Then we'll have to get to five and do it. Should we loot four? Well. Because that is their sleeping area. I I'm, I'm going to wait for a few seconds to see if anything responds back. Are and you... then if nothing does. Are you I... hearing the bat um, squeal of mice squeak and a rock falling? That's it. Like, well. If there's anyone down there, they're not able to hear us. I guess we should go down to investigate. I mean, there may be more survivors. I don't know. 
What do you guys think? I agree we should. And plus, they did say this is their looting. Oh, where all their looting. I looted. personally couldn't care less about the survivors, but, you know. There's Moss. There's no more survivors. Moss. Moss? There's you must save the Moss. <laughs> okay, he good. wants to stick it in his bottle. Good, we got that. Okay, so, uh, I guess we go down. Day four? Okay. Yeah, we're going down to the four chamber. All right, just so you get look. to halfway down the hall, and you see these two iron doors with iron padlocks on each side. You know what to do. Okay. Uh, Which one am I doing? Hold on. Uh, you make a um a dexterity check I got using 20. the using the thieves tools for the yeah. Okay. I have a plus ten in stealth, sleight of hand, and my dexterity just by itself. Just plus dexterity five. on these. Oh. Right. Nine plus five, fourteen. Fail to unlock the first lock. You break it to the point where it cannot be unlocked. All right, we'll just blow it down. Right oh, down. For one of them. Did you say you would just blow it up? Blow it down. Yep. Yeah. 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 Wait, what's the door made out of? Steel. I'll freeze the door, and then it'll be steel. Will be a whole lot easier to break. Frozen. Actually, I don't know if that's true. Is that true? Like, yes. It does become fragile. Or Metallic fragile. warping is an extreme. Yep. Yes, repeated cooling and heating of metal. I know repeated so cooling. So, want me to try to unlock the other one? Then, if it breaks, we just freeze them both out, and then just kick them in. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, try and unlock the other one. Yeah, I definitely don't open either of them. Okay then. All right, it's time to freeze them. Yep. Try and freeze the doors, and then we'll Thirteen blow it plus up. Seven. On you cast room four A. So do you want me to roll the damage or what? It doesn't break. Okay, that happens. I'm going so to eight, try to head in the restroom for a moment. Stop, that's a point. It doesn't break. Because oh. I rolled a seven. How does that work? I got a twenty and you got a seven. Because I didn't roll high. How does that work? I don't know. Okay, then I'll do it again. I got a 17 plus 7 now. I rolled a 17, so you break one of them. Alright, so door 4A. Now I'll do the next one. I got a... No, 19. 18. It also falls down. It was a little weaker. So both doors are broken now. Yes. Alright, I go with loot in room 4A. Alright, so in the rooms... Sure Alright, how does this fucking door close? It it wasn't closing for me either. The door itself? Yeah. No. So, um, it really doesn't unless you take the gate off. No, the top of the gate, I think. Yeah, the top of the gate don't latch anymore. So just push the door. As far as it goes. No one else is going to look except Matthew. Okay. Alright, so what's in 4A? Alright, so you look inside of each room. Each room you see uh, six sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Each one is seven feet long, three feet wide. They are made of a greenish stone, each cold to the touch. A strange flower-like pattern has been carved onto the stone. By pressing the correct petals on each flower, the sarcophagus splits open. Um. All right, and you have to uh, make a check to see if you get the right pattern. Um, and uh, that's really all there is. I use passive magic detection. You detect no real magic. You sense a little bit of like mechanical magic. All right, so uh, you sense like what, a mechanical heart keeping what would be things my alive. Add on to uh, unlocking them. You must make. A intelligence check. Intelligence, which is per coffin. Per coffin. Per coffin. Oh, the fuck? Hey, coffin. Perfect. Do you really want to open all of them? I got a 13 plus four, 2. 14, 15. Will that unlock it? Uh, you just barely, after about 30 minutes of playing with the pedals on the on the sarcophagus, I'm right, just one barely coffin now because I'm unlocking all of them. Huh? I am mark one coffin now because I'm unlocking all of them. I'm no, not hold on, hold on. That one has. A steel one in it. A what? An iron gold. So is that a monster? Yes. And it's made of steel? Yep. Alright. He is as a quick reaction. He's currently turned off, but he's not dead. Oh, so I don't have to worry about him right now. Not right now. Okay. 
we really want to keep touching this. If I use cold touch and get a high roll, will it just kill him instantly? No. He's being held he's being kept alive by magic. Okay. Alright, so that's one of them. Uh thirteen again. 13, 14, 15 for the next, next one. You open up the next one. That one is empty. Alright. Eight. I didn't unlock that one. Alright, can I try again? Or is nope, it. Nope, it's locked permanently once you fail. Alrighty. I'll just use cold touch on it. The stone sarcophagus. Oh, st okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. 16. Alright, you open up that one. That one has another iron in it. That one doesn't wake 17. up. Seventeen. You open another one. Third one does not wake up. I talked to the part. Should we kill these things before I open all of them? I don't know. The party didn't respond. Okay, then I shall wait for Alex. Darling, why the fuck is your floor wet in here? Huh? Why the fuck is your floor wet? Where? That's a good question. On the floor. Where at? What floor? In the restroom. I'm not aware of it being wet. Well, my pants are now wet because of it. <laughs> and yes, I'm sorry about making you walk in there right after I used it. <laughs> okay, Alex, so let me just explain what's happening. What's happening? making me open each one of them. And I've opened up three out of four. Three of them are unlocked. They both have, they all three have something, I think. What did he say, Noah? Steel or iron golems? Wait, you mean those little chambers inside yeah. of them? I opened three of them. One I failed on, and now I can never not open it up. And it, they are all made of stone. They're stone sarcophagi. So what, what the shit's in? Okay, three of them that I opened up have iron golems in them. The one, there are stone sarcophagus with flowers on top of them, and you have to match up the flowers to unlock it. Three of them are open. They all have stone or uh, something golem in it. I honestly don't know, but it is water. What type of golem are golem are they, uh, Charlie? They're called steel ones. Steel golems. Three golems. steel golems, which one of them we can't open. The they're alive, are open. but they're not awake. They're being kept alive by a magic. And I ask, should we kill them before we open all of them and have a whole army of steel golems against us? And if they're also they awake not up. an organic creature, they're being controlled. If they're awake. Because they can be controlled, open them all, they come up. It could be, I sprayed that room really heavily Actually, with, uh, just in fact. Can my, yeah. uh, zombie talk? Okay, here, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell, uh, tell him what I think. I think you should stop opening these chambers. I mean, these I'm things, not... uh, these things look like war forges, except they have no free will. Whatever's controlling them don't really seem to be doing anything right now. But we don't know what we're going to find further in. I think it would be wise if we shut them back. We cannot I, get them to shut back. They are locked. Open. I say I could. We, I have undead speaking. I could talk to my dead companion here, which seems to be almost the, like the second leader. Compared to the boss, who might know something about them. What boss? He worshipped the Shatter Lord, or the something? cult leader of the Shattered Gods. Yeah, mm. he's the leader the of God this that place. was shattered in the mirror. So he's the leader of this place, and we now have him as our servant. He may not be able to speak. Well, then talk to him. Common, but see, I can also speak. See undead. if he has any information. I talk to him. My language: I have undead, demonic, yeah. ruin, draconic, and common. Yeah, I know. You can speak whatever, whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, roll a d twenty. A twenty plus anything? Uh, I don't know. What skills would have that? Uh, probably persuasion. No, I don't know about persuasion, Alex. What are you thinking that? Well, I mean, just talking deception. to the dead guy who is now a slave. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'd even have yeah, to roll because he is my slave. He can do whatever I please. I rolled a seventeen. Just roll. You're just trying 14. to block the information, can't, aren't you? Plus, no, I'm trying to determine how much information he can get. What do you want me a plus on it? Oh, it's right. Wouldn't it be charisma? Or no, charisma like probably, but that's going to be enough no matter what. Well, yeah. that'll be 18 then. Yeah. So he tells you they're weapons controlled by not me, but by the god. Um, the um, 
God of Judgment. I say we close these I doors. I ask him if they are in all of the sarcophagus. He doesn't remember exactly which ones have them, but he knows there's a large force in the in the base in the um dungeon. I I say we but we all exit the room and we close these doors so that they never be used. He well, blew them down. Yeah, remember the locks won't work. Froze them down. So there's only three open. Well, then I suggest we get out of here and we hope they don't awaken until we're done. I can try to freeze the room solid. No. It's too risky. You may awaken them or agitate them. Let's leave. All right. They we'll are leave. controlled by a god that could literally activate them remotely because he's broken the mirror by failing the only check that you had. The only, uh, the only check. I had to got. hit a nap. Look, one we're leaving. Right Hello, now. we're leaving. We're heading to room number five. Yes. In room number five, you find um, the room is a 50-foot uh, long stone table. Yeah. Uh, we carved the same stone as, as same stone as the floor when hewn. Huh? It's sandstone. It's all sandstone. H-E-W-N. What the hell is that? Spell? It means you're carved out of the very rock. Yes. Okay. And it says hewn dominates this room. Oh, you. H U E. No, H E. Uh, H E W N? Yeah. That's Yun. That means carved. So, yeah, they apparently just carved this whole room out of rock. Okay. There are 20 chairs positioned around the table. Against the far wall are three large barrels. Well, I suggest we go take a look at what's in the barrels. Let's go take a look at the barrels, then. I also use passive magic detection while walking there. Uh, and I mind. tell Cassie and, uh, uh, sorry, I, I tell Vixen and Oof here to keep an eye on those two passages on the far side of the room, make sure nobody comes in and gets the drop on us. Okay. Um, in the barrels, one barrel you find a bunch of rice, and the other barrel you find such a bunch of fruit, pretty much. Well, that's three barrels. This seems so to be... Did I say fruit. three? Yes. There are three on that map. Three. And it, you did say three. I mean, it's obvious. Uh, it's one of them's full of food. It's their feast hall. This is where they eat. Yes. That's this... exactly. Well, I mean, it's called the meeting room, but uh, yeah, it's also where they eat. I suggest we try it. Are these barrels big enough, that, uh, small enough that they could be easily rolled out of here? No, they're they're full enough to feed everybody in the compounds. Hmm. Well, then in that case, I say this could be of help to the village, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like we could get it up. To one the... of us does have a pocket dimension, and one of them has a uh, thing which he could put fruits in. We only live fruit. Well, are plants considered live? Technically, yes. It's not rotten. He said they're. You know some fruit is edible well beyond its lifespan. Yeah, but the idea is he could put a seed in there and it'll grow a tree inside the box. Yeah. Okay, that, 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 we, give some, we give some fruit to Oof here, then. And we then give some of the put fruit to your... put in his bottle, yeah. Now you can grow infinite apples. Well, they're yeah. growing automatically. He yeah. throws them in. So yeah. now we got yeah. infinite food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if that could be of any use. Okay, so... Uh, I suggest we go check uh, check on that first room right there, 6A. Uh, what yeah. does everyone else think? I agree with that. Because if we don't go there, we could get... Because we don't know that room, we could get jumped from back there. Yep. They can circle in behind us and kill us. We're just kind of following y'all. Okay. I mean, I don't know why y'all don't want to take any interest in all this. I mean, all right. I thought you were so excited for your moss. <laughs> no moss? So we go into the next room then? Yes, say. We're in 6A. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, here's what I don't understand. You're a demon worshiper, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it you aren't using all this cool shit we got lying around to enhance your own worship? Well, I haven't really seen it. I am the devil's right hand yeah, he, kitty cat. Yeah. You can be better than the devil's right hand kitty cat. Remember, there's always a step up. How do you get better than the, the step devil? The step up kitty? would be the oh, devil himself. I'm not becoming the devil. I'm his. I'm his. How would you become a god? <laughs> All right. So I love in my a, god. Oh. In six a, you go into the room. Everybody, uh, roll a uh, stealth check. 
Okay, I survive it. Yeah, I just survive it. Just in Eleven. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Noah. Stealth check. Stealth check. Well, Stealth we're check. invisible. Stealth. Yo, we're gonna have to go to lunch. I mean, supper's gonna. Yeah. And, uh, your foot's gonna get eaten. Eat it. This little piggy went to market. Okay. What did you roll, Noah? Nine. Plus stealth? Yeah. Oh, let me see. I didn't do plus stealth. Dexterity. Uh, 11. I have 16. Plus stealth. Okay. 16. Okay. Minus 19 without plus stealth. So no one's probably the only one who's got spotted. So, in the room are two sleeping cultists. Three of y'all make it in without any issues. Noah stumbles and makes a noise. One of them starts to wake up but is not fully awake. In the room, there's also um, four storage containers along with the sleeping, the two sleeping cultists. I roll to try and kill them before they wake up. I, All right, roll. I will uh, describe. As in, like, I pick up my mace and try and do... Well, that only catch them in the head. Well, that yeah, only bash. for one. Head bashy. Well, uh, I, do have have a, rolls. I do have a multi-attack. Well, I know. well, if you can't, I'll roll and kill the other one. Uh, hold on. Let me let me do it on the table. 18. <laughs> it hits. You bash one in the head and you start bashing the other one before he can really get up. He's not quite dead, but he ain't getting up. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So do we want to finish him or get information from him? What information is there to get? We already he got the leader. Have... We don't need any survivors. Good point. Yeah. All right. These people are dangerous. What else? Kill them. Uh, let's loot the... What is the barrels you said? Let's loot the containers. Loot, loot containers. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, you don't have to... Wait a minute. Just so we know. <laughs> Wait a second. Doing. What? Why didn't you X out the two chambers that we said we were going to try and close? Because they're not completely clear. He gets a point there. There's still monsters in there, still things in there. Y'all might go back and decide to do stuff in that well, way. You, the other rooms have nothing left to do in. Uh, well, one of the sarcophagus can't be opened anymore. Okay, then I mean, let's loot the containers in do. this room. Come on. So Bring looting. forth the, the loot. Uh, you find a handful of leather. You find some books, tattered books, without really any readable information. Mm. And um, you find the child's teddy bear. What do you mean, unreadable? I take the teddy nothing bear. useful. It's just in scribble. I take the teddy bear. Okay. Does anyone want to take the leather? Noah? No, I'm good. I want leather. Alright, All right, so... He doesn't want to be the leather daddy. Of the I, ask if, I ask everyone if they're ready to proceed to the next room. Hold on. And by next room, I mean seven. Yeah. I guess we should. Anyone else? Uh, I say, wait a sec. Let's see if they can hear us now. So I do that same call speech that we did earlier down the hall to see if we can get anyone to give up before we even have to kill them. We're going to say we're in five right now. And now I'm go, Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to call down there. Let's roll for intimidation. Twelve plus ten. Twelve plus ten, yes. Yeah. So uh, can they hear us? Because we're at five, like, right there at the... We're the shouting door. down the hall at, at seven yeah. and all the adjacent rooms in there. Can they hear us yet? You just hear someone yell back, nobody cares. He did... He did. <laughs> okay, we're coming to kill you then. We already took your leader. <laughs> your okay. leader's my little bitch now. <laughs> just, no, you just... Okay, now I look at everyone and say, okay, I'm sorry I did that, that's... That's not good, because now they know for a fact we're coming, and they're not willing to give up. Alex, it would be funny if we sent their leader in there with a sword and just left the way to kill them all. No. That would be funny, though. No, because I don't know what the sword does. Yeah, that... And we, it's still in your uh, chest. We still yeah. need to get out. Yeah, it's still in my armor. So yeah. I guess we start going down the hallway... Um... To seven. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. So you enter room seven. You see pretty much a large room, just like most of the others. Two big old pillars in it, and another mirror. You see a handful of dead bodies already on the floor, all look like suicides. And you see one single cultist in the room. Um, and he says, um, He says, Oh, great God of judgment, 
I know I have asked so much of you, but I ask uh, for only one more thing. Speak, bellows uh, the two-faced creature with stereo voice this time in common. Oh, so apparently... I don't know why. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I thought you said that that was the only path to talk to him in the other room. In the other room, yeah. So there's a whole other... So marriage. we sent that bitch back. We got rid of that bitch just... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually supposed to be the room with the final boss fight in it. Oh. But uh, the other room also had a mirror with a sacrifice altar. Oh, wow. Well, okay. And um, that's where there was supposed to be the cult leader. Okay, then. Well, the cult leaders are a bitch now. So, I... I yeah, so what, what's he saying? Um, says, whining, the cultist begs, you have spoken um, of one final sacrifice that must be made before the narrow path will accept me. Please, have I found this person? Surely it is the woman with the um, iron arm and leg. You mean the spy? Where is the, the spy person? that we sent back to the village? Where is the Probably, person? yeah. Oh, oh, uh. Can we hear him saying all this? Yes. yes. We're right there in the room. Yeah. Behind him. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna straight up say, Oh yeah, we sent her we sent her back to her homeland. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to. The uh the um the god of uh, judgment replies with um no, you imp you insolent fool. You have already lost her. She is already gone. Your when your leader passed and was taken over by these by these uh, intruders, they have uh, released the uh, um released the one you were looking for, the one that would have let you in. Now you shall pay for your um for your insolence. He kills him, doesn't he? He pulls out a knife as he attempts to commit suicide before the um god of judgment can. And you see this iron golem that was over in the corner, dormant. Reach over and smack him across the room, splattering him against the wall. I say we get out of here. We can outrun these fuckers. But if he's controlling... Oh my god, yeah. no! He's controlling the... I, I told you we should have shut the door! No! Well, we're that's trapped! The, that's the thing, though. He's he beyond... doesn't know that you have passed. He doesn't know you're in there. And oh, all... yeah, they do, because you yelled down the hall! Well, I said that. I'm like, okay, everyone, run. <laughs> I start booking it up up the hall to try and get past everything before he right. can immobilize. There's still a mirror in that room, Matt. If you want to stay, it's on you, but I'm going to try and collapse Noah, that hallway. Noah, Casey, are you all going to stay? With Sorry, me? I'm uh, sending a Moto Moto meme. What's going on? You staying with me? Just yes or no? You have just are completely you... blacked out to the whole okay, plot. Are you staying in the room I'm in, or are you trying to... We're like, literally the at the face of a chaos guy. He's, I'm running for wait, my life. Is he in the yeah, mirror? Yeah, that's a good idea. Is he in the mirror, though? Yeah. I, I, he's I in the mirror. Out. He's one thing about really he controls mirror. all the golems. He's Those the one who controls the golems. What did we walk past a room full of? Well, I don't think I'll laugh at the golems earlier. Well, do you think you're going to get past them? Probably. Long way all the way over to there. And Not only if you anger him, though. Yeah, if we anger him. Hey, I'm going to get past him and get ready to collapse the whole passageway. If they wake up. I mean, I got Dimension Door. I can get out. I'm on his back. I'm I I'm out of here. Like, look. I don't okay, care about look, fucking this is your check. This is your shot. But take it. Right. If you manage to... Yeah, unpredictable and you can't really read that. So. Okay. Yeah. So, right, so look, take your that. shot, but I'm booking it back towards the entrance to the room four and getting ready to blow the whole door down. Are you at the torch? Uh, yeah, we're heading back to the torch if okay. there aren't any golems in our way. There's not currently, no. So you get back to the torch, Matthew. Yours. I'll go to the mirror. Okay. And ask and talk to the person, I guess. You well, already have a demon on your shoulder here. I mean, let's let's see how this works. Uh, does he say anything to me? You have to roll. Alrighty. Roll for religion. Fifteen. Fifteen. Intelligence. Oh, that'll be. S Religion's under intelligence. No. Oh yeah. That'll, that'll be religion. eighteen. It'll be eighteen. Wait. Do you want me to roll? Check. Do you want me to roll my uh, religion or just plus two intelligence? Religion. Okay, then I'll be. I had 18, that'll be 16. 16? Yep. He replies to you in this one. Yeah, in this one he does. I gotta find where I was. Where you said. Uh, what do you say? 
Oh, this is when Alex would be use Alex would be useful. No, but Alex left because um Alex is smart enough to know to get I, his ass away I'm from the evil say, god mirror. They're harder than than to harass. Well, I also could get me and Who's Alex hard? out of there, like the, the golem? golems. Well, yeah, that's why I was getting out of there. I have a D they have an armor class of twenty. I ask him what is he yeah. trying I ask him what he's trying to do here. I'm just trying to keep my power up, like all gods. We 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 desire worshippers to stay um powerful. Without our worshippers and followers, we have no one to um give us our power. When everyone stops following us, we disappear. I ask him That's a lot. Is there any way for me to start following you instead of my fiend I have right now? You must give up all of your advantages, all of your gifts. What would that be? You'd have to lose your demon. If he loses his demon, you won't that demon, really you hurt him? You would lose your um, devil sight, you would lose all of your pack well, and stuff. I don't think I got my devil sight from him. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, he did. He was a warlock. Uh, you would get the ability to uh, to uh, cast a radiant light spell. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. So he would go. And he would get the ability to draw power from the blood. Hold on, blood. hold on. This is an out of character question here. So, what is the alignment of this god? He doesn't have one. There's just not an alignment listed. Oh, well. he is a cult god, though. Oh well, cult god. So he's probably chaotic evil. Yeah, probably. But I... you get the ability to use uh, radiant magic, and um, you could draw your magic powers from blood. If I could get people to help you. Will you give me some power? Talk about adding another pack? Yes. Um, if you can get people to follow me, I may grant you I Boons. may grant you a gift. Boon. Use boon. Boon's a very god word. Boon. Use a boon. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to be using myself. No, no, no. The word boon, it means pack a, a gift I from a god. I know. I'm, I'm making a word joke. Yeah. So I won't lose anything if I do that way. No. But While he's not. having this conversation, I'm looking for ways to destabilize this whole hallway. <laughs> you know it's all the moss is what's really holding it up. Yeah. I said, hey, hey. want some moss?